to. Hello. This is the greatest show ever made, and I want to thank the Emmy uh, Council, the Emmys, for nominating us for Best Show of All Time, which we won graciously. <laughs> so thank you to the Emmys, and thank you to everyone who voted for us. Wow. And congratulations to you, Elo, for Best Co-host of the Universe <laughs> ever. Thank you. Ever. I, was, I think you totally deserved it, and I'm very proud of you. And, of course, I won the Best Host of any show that ever existed of which I'm very grateful as well. So thank you all. And and the audience won. They won best audience that ever watched the show. That makes sense. They are the best. So congratulations. We all won Emmys this year. Thank you to our sponsors who won best sponsors of the ever, the <laughs> ever sponsored the show. Privacy, DoorDash, and Stamps.com. Thank you to them. We've got a lot on the dock today, my dudes. Uh, my throat is messed up, by the way. I think it was mm-hmm. the forest fires. Combined with the Disney trip yelling at full blast for nine hours. And I've just been coughing up this, like, putrid mustard green. Like, I showed Hila. I saw it. And it looks... It's bad, right? Wrong. Yeah, it looks wrong. It's, like, brown. It's so bad. I took a bunch of NyQuil yesterday. Or not NyQuil, but f- there's this beverage I was drinking. Theraflu. It's mm-hmm. like a beverage. I just been hitting that shit hard, and uh, I'm out of it more than last week. <laughs> so my th- anyway. How is that possible? Just a disclaimer. Are we just gonna make excuses now every week? No, I will feel better eventually. Okay. And I'll let people know too. This is the feeling better episode, <laughs> but this is the feeling bad episode. Uh, today we're gonna talk about Trisha. She made an apology video for saying that she was trans. She also called me out. No, no that's all. She, she called she, me out. She made a reaction video to us. Yeah, I'm sorry. She made a reaction video to me, uh, to the claim. Now she says this is unobstanti- unobstantiated claim that she has a 20 inch engorged clit that goes down to her toes, drags on the floor when she walks. She actually posted pictures of it, so... She tweeted them to me. I can't show you guys. Uh, it's wow. it's disgusting. <laughs> I said, I responded to her tweet, I just said, gross. Wow. But it's funny, because all of their responses are people like, dude, this is horrid. Um, well, we're not even talking about it yet, are we? And then, more exciting... This our, is just a preview. Ian, the intern, ran into... Bell Delphine at the uh, what at the wow. uh, can I say it awards the awards the P H awards <laughs> wow the, the P Hop awards adult industry awards yeah the tone it down it's a family friendly show <laughs> yeah adult industry awards Ian ran into Bell Delphine he got a photo with her and he's got a story to tell us that's coming up it's all here today. On the H three podcast experience. Oh yes, did that work? Yeah. <laughs> you guys haven't seen this in a minute, huh? <laughs> yeah. Why don't you have a seat right over there? Boom. Yeah, <laughs> baby. Who else has got gazebo game like that? Nobody. Now, before we get started, I've got another scooter video. Surprise, surprise. Ethan, wow, you're obsessed with scooters. Yeah, I am. Watch this video if you think that it's not hilarious. Watch how it's perfectly framed. This, this Look how it's perfectly framed. Door closed. You think it's going to stop this man, man? No. Fuck this AMPM. I'm going to take the whole bitch out. And he does like a crazy 180. The beam does a 180 around his neck like an Olympic sport. I love how it looks like he barely touches anything, but the whole store fell apart. Dude, somehow. he takes out the entire store. <laughs> <laughs> Did he fucking... What? This shot's amazing. Like, it's perfectly lined up. And there's no... Dude, you should have started slowing down already. Like, you didn't even touch... The... You didn't even consider touching the brake. <laughs> you just thought it was going to make it. Slick. It's incredible how much damage he did. <clears throat> like, he took out the case next to the door, he broke both doors, and then, like, a beam fell down. <laughs> Look at all the, the amount of catastrophe that happened <laughs> from the scooter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Looks like a Whole Foods or something, right? Yeah. 
Look at this. I mean, it's crazy. Like old people on scooters, it's like. <laughs> you didn't even slow down after you hit the. It's like if door. you let a kid drive a car. That's right. what it's like. Right. Do you understand? He didn't even slow down after he hit the damn door. Yeah. Like, what is he thinking? Boom. I'm still going, baby. Let's ride. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy how that beam did like a 180 on him. It stayed balanced on him. It's amazing, right? Yeah. Watch this beam. You see this beam? It rides him all the way through the store and does a tw Yeah, it's... I don't know. <laughs> Gravity department. <laughs> it's scooter logic. So there you go. Uh, you don't even dare tell me you're over scooter videos because this shit is funny all the way. Every day. People on the streets are saying they love the scooter videos. <laughs> yeah. Every... You're in the same, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everywhere I go. <laughs> Everybody's talking about scooter videos. Lushix, you guys know this uh, artist? He does like a gorilla spray painting. He's very famous, very reputable, probably the greatest art living artist alive. <laughs> and he did a meme. Um, he, I did an Insta story where I had the the Joker Snapchat, and he was so inspired by me <laughs> that he dedicated a wall to me. I love it. So, shout so out good. to Lushix. Um, They're fucking awesome. Yeah. I, I found that I've had that effect on several people throughout my life that I'm so inspiring. Ela, you can attest. That, uh... I've heard it from people on the street. Dude, he did a really good job. I feel like he's getting even better. Yeah, this is... I, li I really like That's high-level shit. Yeah, baby. Imagine if the Joker looked like me. But that'd be more or less scary if the Joker had my body <laughs> compared to Joaquin mm -hmm. Phoenix. It would have no effect, Ethan, because your body is totally normal. <laughs> I think the Joker has to be, like, starving because he's, like, this anxious... Like, if he's fat, like me... Because that implies you have a good time, at least you enjoy eating. He enjoys nothing. Mm. I'm the penguin. <laughs> If I'm I any love, Batman villain. I love that character. Yeah, I'm the penguin. <laughs> yeah, I love the penguin too. But the Joker is my favorite Batman villain. Yeah. We I haven't seen the Joker yeah, yet. Yeah, I was just going to say we should watch it. Maybe we could see it um, tonight. Maybe. I want an Ela Joker movie review. Okay. The Incel Uprising is here finally. So Lushix is the man. Thank you to him. I guess this is it. I guess we're at the Trisha moment. So I have, a, first of all, an apology video that I made. I know that apology videos is kind of Trisha's thing. And so I wanted to take a stab at it, and I wanted to make my own apology video inspired by her, to her, for her. Mm. So um, we'll go ahead and roll that now, guys. So this is my apology video to Trisha Paytas. Hey, guys. It's Ethan here again. I just wanted to come on really fast and apologize to everybody. I totally did not expect the backlash from our last video. Um, I wanted to basically apologize to Trisha Paytas, who is such a sweet, genuine person. And I just really, like, I wanted to first of all apologize for saying that she looked like she was at an open casket funeral, like she was the corpse inside of a casket. I mean, that's not true. That's just not what I meant at all. You're so beautiful. You're such a queen. And I also wanted to apologize for saying that you have, like, a 5 to 10 inch engorged clit that's bigger than my dick. I mean, there, I mean, that's, that would basically make you a guy. That would basically mean you had a penis. And, well, I guess I'm kind of confused because you said you're trans. But I don't know. I just, I'm sorry. I didn't want to offend you. I know that. And I'm sorry for saying that you're not trans. God, man, even though you have like cup F jugs that are always on display and not that would make you, I don't know, but gender is all in the mind anyway. And I shouldn't, I shouldn't even go there, but mostly I just want to apologize to Trisha and say that I think she's really hot and um, definitely doesn't look like, she, like a, she definitely doesn't look like, you know, she's. She's been passed around as much as a bowling ball and she's gone through as much as a bowling ball too Like she's just always hitting pins and being washed back up and then 
people putting shoving their fingers in her and then throw her down the lane always it's like she comes back and more fingers and throw her down the lane she doesn't look like that she's a sweet she's hot and she's empowered female Ugh. anyway guys i'm just really apologetic and i hope you all can forgive me so with that being said let's um let's go ahead and start the podcast thank you please forgive me so do you think that she will wow. appreciate that apology or that she'll be upset by that apology? I think that was very touching. Right. I teared up a couple of times. Yeah, I was getting emotional doing it because I was like, wow, that's super real. Like the analogy of her being a bowling ball. <laughs> the and, fuck did that analogy come from? <laughs> well, I just had an image of a bowling ball in my head and I was trying to think of something that gets passed around and then the bowling ball came in my head. And you know, it's, it's a really special... Um, analogy because when you think about the pins as penises as well that she's being thrown into just getting Heavy. slammed with penises boom she comes back fingers jams at her then thrown down the lane a bunch of more penises and it's like when does it stop and the ball comes back and it's thrown it's like god when does it stop please oh my god <coughs> so uh, hopefully she accepts my apology and we can move past this she did ask for an apology I do hope that she accepts it and maybe she'll still come on the podcast even though she said she would never as of uh, recently she erased her tweet or something because i yeah i think this... she deleted it oh man what which one did she erase so the... she she anyway she, i said she she could come on the podcast if she's man enough a joke to her here i can sh I, I can actually show this she said, reacting to H3's video calling me nasty. She says, I, the video is called H3 is worse than Donald Trump. Wow, very political. <laughs> um, she knows some people like him, right? Okay, well, whatever. Um, I said, epic. Somebody said, you should have her on the podcast. I said, if she's man enough, she shouldn't come on. I thought that was pretty epic. She said, $18 million, I'll do it. I said, you'll definitely do it for free. She, by the way, reached out to us first. And then she said, apologize. <laughs> And then maybe she says apologize for all your dumbass trolling. So that's what I just did. Yeah, I want to bury the hatchet, and I want yeah, I want to um, I want to bury the how do you call those low uh, tops? The, the doll, the, the baby doll, or something. How do you call those? Oh, like the stuff you slip in. That's baby doll. I think. What was she wearing? Where her tits were like seventy five percent out. I don't remember. I want to bury the baby doll. Yeah, bury the baby doll. And I want to, I want to move on. I want you on the podcast, and I just want to make amends. So, um, <clears throat> and in spirit of that, let's watch, let's enjoy her, her response video because she she made some claims here that I think need to be addressed. She she said a lot of things about Ela. First of all, you know how we feel about that. She said things about Dan, which I can't let slide personally. Patricia, she's so crazy. The girl's fucking insane. <laughs> you know, I am very entertaining, so she just basically watched my clip. Which is what I did with Tiger Belly the other day. <laughs> I found myself just listening to myself hey guys, the vast majority of time. This is going on my second channel, even though this is a main channel setup. No, that's her main channel setup? I didn't realize. <gasps> this is her special occasion setup. <laughs> So kitchen floor is main channel. That's the main course, but baby. Living room floor is apology type videos. Yeah. Got it. And then like What's so hard to understand? bathroom floor is like third channel. Yeah, that's the garbage. You don't want to watch garbage that. Here. When you know the fridge, when you see the fridge behind her, you know it's good. Got it. <laughs> so I was skimming through the H3 H3 new podcast. I'm a fan of H3. No, you're not. I <laughs> like the podcast. I I like podcasts in general, even if they're boring or not really my flavor. I like podcasts because what? I'm a lonely bitch. And I like to listen to other people talk because I'm alone all the time. This should be called Day in the Life of a Loner because I'm always alone. So that's fine. By choice. Anyway, she just rambles on. I'll just skip to the... <laughs> the I did timestamps so that we can kind of be more precise <laughs> with this 30-minute video. The girl's fucking insane. Trisha. What's your last day? So insane, but can't keep my name out of your lips and your mouth. And yes, you invited me on your freaking podcast, so I can't be that insane. First of all, you asked. 
First of all, let's she wanted to come on. Yeah. You tweeted at me publicly asking to come on the podcast, so let's set that straight. And second of all, me, you being insane has nothing to do with being in my mouth. And I know, you, I mean, yes. In fact, it has a lot to do with being in my mouth. I mean, you're inter- you're entertaining. You're interesting. You're entertaining. Hell yeah, baby. <laughs> I don't want to call her baby. She got the wrong idea. <laughs> She's got a thesis that I want to fuck her, I think. But, okay. uh... But I'm not much of a bowler. <laughs> mm. <laughs> so why is it okay? Why is it okay for other people to use derogatory terms when talking about people crazy? I have a mental illness. Is that people to call me crazy? I mean, like, he can call me crazy, but I get, like, oh my god, talk I mean, about it's not your thing. I'm like, oh my god, Trisha, just going off the deep end. Okay. I mean, you're funny crazy. You're not, like, homeless hey, crazy. Uh, well, she came at me on Twitter, first of all. We need to start here. I made a joke about China. Ela is really pretty. I'm just going to say that. Like, Ela's really pretty. I, I'll Damn. just say, like, she's Thank too good you. for him. Right. Like, I mean, I think he knows that. Yeah. I think that's why he is so self-deprecating. <clears throat> but she is beautiful and pretty. And um, and I apologize to Ela for coming for you. <laughs> coming for you on this <laughs> kitchen floor, Ela. If you put yourself online. You better be scared. She's obviously H3, H3. Speak for yourself, dumb dumb. You just said I can't make fun of you because you're crazy. H3, you... Ela. H3, Ethan, maybe. Anyways. Can you believe she doesn't cut or anything? She just puts it all out there. I feel like if she like, comes on, it's going to be such a great episode. That's why I know she's got to come on. Yeah, she's going to come on. She's going to come on for free, too. She just too. wants she loves to it. bag a little. She wants to She go. likes the back and forth. She gets views. She got something to talk about. Yeah. It's great. She loves it. Those glasses are huge, dude. I like the glasses. You do? You could almost see her ears in them. They're so big. <laughs> like, that's a little wild. <laughs> on the internet, you know what I mean? Like, I can come for you. But I do apologize for coming for you. I'm All right, sorry. come on. Let's. I got more timestamps. It's just not going anywhere. She got 30 minutes to fucking say something. <laughs> All right, here we go. Penis size. Although I bet you Trisha's got a large clip. That's okay, here we tall. go. Hell yeah, I do. She's got, she's one of those big girls. She's got like an engorged clip. Hell yeah. <laughs> it is meaty. I have a meaty ass vagina. Damn. It is so meaty and tight. It's Gross. like biting into an Arby's roast beef sandwich. Meaty and tight. <laughs> By the way, meaty and tight aren't synonymous. <laughs> and roast beef sandwich is not an, synonymous with tight. <laughs> beef curtains are fine. Meat curtains. Oh, yeah, that's legitimately that funny. You gotta, you gotta give a prize for that, though. I do. Okay. Does she put horsey sauce on it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, that's gross. So gross. Why'd you do that? <laughs> no, she's funny. I give her props. Um, she's funny. That's why we want her to. Yeah, come. I'm not. I, I, I'm not. I'm never said anything bad about her. Everything has a positive spin. <laughs> Large clip that's bigger than my cock. Hell yeah, I do. She's got, she's one of those bigger girls. Oh, right, like, she's got like an engorged clip. Oh, yeah. Like this. It is meaty. I have a meaty ass vagina. It is so meaty and tight. It's like biting into an Arby's roast beef sandwich without the beef curtains. <laughs> oh, without the beef curtains. <sighs> it says that they trimmed that beef sandwich before sticking it up inside me. And it is Gross. just as delicious. And I make my own mayo. She makes her own mayo, uh, Zach. So there, you got to answer. I don't even know what that. The great that portion mean, sauce question. Like, what would that mean? Yeah. I yeah. think sure vagina juices. She makes her own mayo to lubricate the sandwich. Oh, it's oh, pretty graphic, eh? Yeah, I'm grossed out. I'm too young for this conversation. <laughs> 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 what age is appropriate for this conversation? Guys, about fucking. You know what I'm saying? Like she's probably got gnarly ass genitals. What? You know what I'm saying? You can see them at trishyland.com, which I'm sure you have already seen it. I'm sure you've already been Oh, there. she thinks I've been to her and website. that's why I wanted to tweet it to you, because you, you're you so concerned about my genitals and my, my meaty clip. She that erased is- it, man. I wish you guys could have seen the the comments, because she erased me like a... Cl- or she erased me. She tweeted me a close-up of her vagina. Yeah, I did see it. It was gnarly, bro. <coughs> Ow! I just like coughed. I'm too fat. I don't fit under the table. Yeah, and, and I didn't know she was like a por- actually straight up pornographer. Like, she has a porn site where she does everything you could uh, think that a porn person does. Meaty vagina. Here she says I'm worse than Donald Trump. Here we go. Nowhere near me. Your mouth nowhere near my ten inch clap. Like you don't know. 
You haven't smelled me. You haven't seen me in person. Like, you don't you. know me. So to call someone nasty, what are we, Donald Trump? Are you Donald Trump? I thought you were liberal and Jewish. Like, I, you support Donald Trump? Okay. How did we Even get to Donald, Donald Trump? Trump I love that. I don't what? know. I'm not really sure. Because he calls people nasty. No, but, but, I think that was the connection. He didn't invent okay. calling people nasty. That's true. But it's it's one of his you things. You wish you could. You are trans male. Uh, she's nasty. Anyway, she's the best though too. You see, I said she's the best though too. It's little comments like this that I just don't get. Like I know you have a small dick, and I know <laughs> you look like a troll, but. <laughs> Uh-huh. Like to say you're nasty, like I don't know you. I don't want your dick anywhere near my mouth. Like I don't know how nasty that is. Why did she go but straight to her to... mouth? What about the roast beef that she so gloriously described? I don't know. With her own mayonnaise. Yeah, mean. with her own mayonnaise. Come on. Well, tr- rest assured, Trisha, you know the I mean? feeling Maybe is it's mutual. Nasty. Maybe it's not. It's nowhere near me. Your mouth nowhere we, near we, my head. We can flat. both happily like, say that we have no interest in having sex with each other. <laughs> You haven't smelled me. You haven't seen me in person. Like, you don't. Okay, well, there you go. I'm worse than Donald Trump. Uh, oh, here she goes after Ela. Now, this is when the gl- the gloves mask comes off. I don't know. Anyway, let's continue on. She goes. I don't also love, okay, love Ela. She's pretty and beautiful. But this but- is my issue with her. This has always been my issue with her is that she doesn't ever, like, chime in. Like, I like her. She's so sweet and so nice. She seems so sweet and so nice. But, like, you're on the podcast and you don't chime in. You don't defend, like, Anybody. Like, you don't defend, like, <coughs> anybody. You just mm. kind of, like, laugh and agree with what your husband wow. says. That's my only issue with her is that there's no real opinion. And I know that's wow. kind of coming for her, but it's not. Like, it's kind of like my issue with Spencer on the Impulsive Podcast. Like, there's no there's no added opinion, which is fine. People don't need to always give their opinions, mm. but on a podcast, you do. Oh, shit. What do you think about that? Your response. <laughs> no opinion. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Well, clearly she doesn't read the comments because everybody s- seems to think that clearly you come out of her shell. Clearly she doesn't watch the podcast, in my opinion. She probably just yeah, she doesn't does. get our chemistry. Well, she goes on to say that she, we're Hasid, Hasidic Jews. Yeah, she does. She's not familiar at all with our content at all. But I think it's ironic because I remember even in that segment, you spoke up in her defense at one point. You said, she said, when she tweeted at me, I knew you had a tiny dick. And you said... And I was like, well, I already said that, dumb dumb. And then you said, well, she's just saying that I confirm what she already knew. Yes. So she, you already did speak up in defense of her tweet. I did. Um, well, she's making an assumption that a lot of people do. Uh, they, I don't know. Yeah, I am more quiet than mm-hmm. like a normal co-host. Right. So she's expecting like whew, loud... <laughs> I don't know. She's a loud person. She's probably expecting something like that from mm. the co-host. Mm. But our friends know what we do here. <laughs> it's not what we do here. I think what we got our own style. Well, and if Trisha want to find out, she'll come on the podcast and she'll mm. see what I have to say. Oh You're shit! On the wrong street, cuz exactly. <laughs> oh damn! That's right. What a big pimp! <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that gunshot was awesome. <laughs> Yeah, dude. What are you talking about, Trisha? How dare you? Well, I think it's just evidence that she doesn't watch the podcast. Yeah, that's what it is. She goes on to say that I railroad you out of, into submission. <laughs> so here we go. Me? I <laughs> railroad <laughs> Ela into submission. Oh, God, Ela. Uh, did you see your face? Just looking like. Here, let me go back. Can you? Boldo, baby. Boldo. God, Ela. Uh, did you see your face just looking like, can you let me talk, you male chauvinistic pig-ass bitch? It's my husband, dumbass. I didn't say that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thank you. At least she watched it. She just kind of describes, like, a lot of people. She says, I don't know, some days I don't wear makeup and I just wear comfy clothes. Trans. And I mean, she's trans. I really relate to <laughs> men and I like to hang out with men more than <laughs> women. Mm-hmm. And so, therefore, she thinks she is a guy. Well, people have always thought you were trans, you know, so... <laughs> a trans skeleton. Trans skeleton, so maybe that explains. Because you were saying you, you identify with what, which... You see what I'm saying? saying? 
This is like reaction yeah, inception. Like we're, <laughs> we are watching yeah. ourselves. And I think that's but like, I feel like she talks for five minutes in this 25 minutes. Like but you're not even yeah. That, I guess she... Does she say anything about this? I don't remember. Dude, I don't know. I was sleeping when I did this. Sorry, Trisha. Just not interesting enough. <laughs> I was literally sleeping when I did this. I don't know how I did this. Um, I was on uh, NyQuil because I'm sick. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I knew that I couldn't watch this video flat because it's just so dull. <laughs> and so I knew I had to do the timestamps. And I, I mean, you, you were next to me. You, you I saw it. You were like falling asleep and then waking up <laughs> and taking time steps, <laughs> writing stuff and then falling asleep. <laughs> I was like, what is going on here? I did it though. I fucking did it. <laughs> That's so interesting. But actually, like, the stuff you did were making sense. Hey, no. <laughs> I, I'm telling you. Very confusing. I'm, I'm, I only needed 10% of my brain to watch your video, Trish. <laughs> Maybe even less. I don't know how, what percent I'm using right now, but I'll tell you, it's not 100. Uh, I don't, I don't know, understand my note on this clip. Let's see. like a trilogy, like, she saw this. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> that doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> That looks like a female. This shot is so... <laughs> you can't look at someone and say, that's a female. You can't look at someone and say, that's a male. Like, you, that's a... I guess 99% of the time you can, but that 1%, yeah, it's like an overall generic judgment that you just can't make on people. You can't look at that and be like, that's a female. And in a video what? he made four months ago, he would have been like, she looks like a freaking open casket. Like, Bro, you can be in a casket and a female. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? You can be a cadaver and have tits the time you can but that one percent you can't it's like an overall generic judgment that you just can't make on people you can't look at that and be like that's a female and in the, a video he made four months ago he would have been like she looks like a freaking open casket like what is it do i look like a hot female or do i look like a freaking open casket oh, i didn't like, say hot we just she's put words in my mouth the shot was crazy i just said your cleavage is out i didn't say it was hot <laughs> trust me that's not what i meant and that's not what i said you know, I'm sure there are cadavers, there are bodies with big tits. Just because that's how they, they died with big tits. I mean. I love how she tries to be here the ambassador for transgender people. when They don't want her. She made the, yeah. the dumbest um, statements they, when she was like, I'm transgender. So. Yeah. Was that an opinion, Yela? No, how dare I? <laughs> okay, uh, don't, don't, uh, Ila, please, don't talk over me. <laughs> Let's move on. You're ruining the show, Ila. Um, oh yeah, this is great. You, you'll like this. I'll let you respond to this point. She says, she, like, it's like a cleavage cam. <laughs> I mean, that's very average, normal cleavage. Dude, that is not This average. isn't Israel, you know what I mean? This isn't, this isn't Israel, she says. <laughs> uh, where else did you cover up? Where did I go? Tehran. She thinks uh, Israel what? is the same as Tehran. Tehran. Uh, That's so crazy. Does she know that you're from Israel? Is she just trying to mock your yeah. birth country? But you know that you don't have to cover, you don't. You know you don't have to cover yourself in Israel, right? Does, I mean, it doesn't not. appear so. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. Yeah, well, Trisha, here's a PSA. Uh, you can wear your tits like that in Israel. Yeah. Um, and that would be totally fine if you want. You can do everything you can do here. It's not a... It's not a... Yeah, it's not... Yes, exactly. Thank yes. you, Ila. Okay. It's not a yes. This is America. That's very normal. It's acceptable. Women are allowed to show their cleavage here. <laughs> By the way, that's not a normal amount of cleavage. That's like basically every. That's everything. Am I wrong, you guys? No, I mean she is showing a lot of cleavage. It's a lot of. It's a lot of tit, yeah. right? Ian and Zach. Yeah. Zach. Yeah. Zach. I mean Ian. <laughs> <laughs> Ian, that's a lot that's of a good tit. Amount, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank good you. amount. We have. We've all voted unanimously. That's a good amount that's of. Cleavage. A good amount. I mean, I could see maybe someone in like the Walmart, like trashy Walmart people subreddit going around with that many, that much cleavage. Yeah. I'm so sorry. I hate to break that to you, but like we can't show cleavage. Maybe females around you don't show cleavage, and that's cool. 
no no shaming those who like to be conservative. No conservative shaming here, but like I'm chilling at home. I didn't do my hair and makeup. I slept in that, like it's comfortable. Like chill, bro. You did a video though. <laughs> it's like half of the shot. Okay, anyway, that's that. So you have it. and then she goes on to say she loves when people call her dumb. She no longer here, let's just watch all these. Let's I'm sorry, just go guys. to the Hasidic she Jews like, moment. She'll, she'll, she's like 10, 15, 20 IQ points away from being sure. My favorite thing is when people call me dumb. That's another just like easy insult. Fat, dumb, just easy insult. I mean, okay, I mean, call me dumb. Literally, that doesn't offend me because like I know I'm not dumb, obviously. I mean, being like chubby is a little bit of a trigger. It is, I'm not gonna lie. I wouldn't so call her fat. Chubby. I never called her fat. When did I ever call her fat? Did I ever call Trisha Paytas fat or Did chubby? Did you call her a beached whale at some point? Was that her or someone else? Mm. <laughs> I think it was someone else. There's just been so many. It's hard to remember. I would never call Trisha Paytas a beached whale. <laughs> Ian, you may have. We're all, we're not so sure about that. I mean, we're going to have to go to the tape. I never in my whole life would call Trisha Paytas a swollen Twinkie. <laughs> oh, boy. What even is that? I don't know. Huh? I wouldn't say it about her. Chubby, I'm gonna feel a little hard, but call me dumb. Like, that's actually like. I never called dumb. her dumb either. I call. I said if she ate a, a one stick of deodorant, she's like one stick of deodorant away from having the IQ of shoe nice. <laughs> Ten IQ points is a lot. That's a big difference in intellectual capacity. Here she says, uh, "Let's just skip to the yeah Hasidic Jew comment." Do. It's a real thing. She looks over it. She doesn't look like she's like enjoying his I'm always over it. it. <laughs> you don't know like, anything about it. You're, <laughs> you're like the Hulk. You know how when the Hulk's like, I wake up over it. <clears throat> you know when the, when the Hulk tells a secret, he goes, you want to know my secret? I'm always angry. <laughs> Ela's always over it. <laughs> to Elena the plug where they have that relationship. Well, I don't think so anyways. They seem like conservative I believe they're Hasidic Jewish people. I'm not trying to be offensive, but I think that's what they are. Conservative like, Hasidic. Judaism, which is fine. Love Jewish men, love Jewish people. Like, I'm obsessed. Okay. She goes, it. I love how but, she goes, I'm obsessed what? with Jewish people. <laughs> what? I don't like that she's obsessed with Jewish people. You know yeah, who's that's weird. You know who's obsessed with Jewish people? Adolf Hitler. <laughs> but, okay. She thinks that uh, we're Hasidic Jews based on what we're wearing. Conservative Hasid here. Hasidic. Jews. Let me show you what Hasidic Jews look like. Here you go. Just to, just to test her <laughs> trivia. Her Israel trivia. Here. These are my people. <laughs> look at this shit. And also, Hasidic women wear wigs, by the way. Mm -hmm. Look at these guys. Such gangsters. Hasids stink like mother, dude. Well, yeah, they wear this all year round. Why, they, dude? They're the greasiest looking people ever. They don't shave, they don't shower. They all got these gnarly suits, bro. That hat is out of control. You look like a lamp. Imagine wearing this in like a hundred degree weather day. Uh, yeah, Israeli and summer. Ninety percent humidity. Mm. Yeah, the Hasids. The Hasids um, we're Hasidic, bro. Here's me at my bar mitzvah. <laughs> I had the Jew curl and everything. Look at this. Look at that <laughs> dome, baby. Anyway, thought that was funny. Uh, and in summary, she says she doesn't want to come on the podcast. Um, here we go. Let's see. Ethan tweeted and said podcast. I believe Dan is the one that emailed me and said podcast. You're forgetting that you the are the one that started it. The podcast, the day I would suck Ethan's dick, <laughs> which I would rather be a corpse eating <clears throat> bugs for the rest of my life. Okay, so good. In an open casket funeral, she would rather she the day she does the podcast is the day she'll suck my dick. Now she said that she'll come on Hila if I apologize, which I did already do. So, mm -hmm. do I have Very your permission? Sincere. Do I have your permission to what to receive fellatio from Trisha Paytas? No. Oh, damn. 
I'm just, why, I don't know where I'm going with that. She, well, she keeps bringing it up, even though we never make that kind of comments. I but never she keeps bringing it up. I never express interest in her. We just like you for who you are, Trisha. We don't Bro, need any sexual favor. You're more than a sexual object to me. Don't you understand? That's why I think, like, all these comments about beached whale, open casket, funeral. These are not sexual objects. These are objects that have value and love in this world. Like, have you ever seen what happens when a beach, when a whale beaches, how many people come out and try to save the whale and bring nice. it back to the ocean? Like, that's a I, love. I still can't remember if it was her that you called that. Yeah, I don't remember. I don't think I called her a beach whale. It may have been someone else. It may have, I, I, it may have been her, though. Let's be honest. <laughs> I, I put a screenshot in the uh, Discord oh, if you want to. Are you here to expose me? But, what, but my analogy is really what good. What is the conclusion? <laughs> From your guys' well, uh, you didn't use the word whale, but you made a joke. One, on, you had a side washed, by side. Oh, I, I said she washed up on the beach. It doesn't work, by the way, for some reason. Oh, I said okay. it looks like she washed up on the beach, right? right? Well, that does that doesn't say anything about fat. But that is just means that, that her? She looks decomposed. <laughs> yeah, I believe that's her. Yeah, she just looks decomposed. I see. But but if I did say she was a beach whale, which I never would, that's a beautiful compliment because a lot of people care about beach whales. <laughs> and the same with the open casket funeral. What's wrong with that? Everybody comes and honors you at your funeral. There's love and beauty and peace and definitely nothing sexual about either of those images, Trisha. So all you bringing up about me, fellatio and all this, I just want to come here and talk to you. I want to talk. I want to talk shop and have a good time and just... You know, that's it. Well, we'll see. We'll see if she's uh, willing to come on now. <laughs> After all well, I made my piece. You wish, like, you literally put me in the title and the thumbnail. So why are we feeding this troll? Dan, whoever you are. Dan, who is Dan? Okay, Dan. Dan why are you feeding the troll? Because you put it as the title, the thumbnail, oh. and the clickbait. Oh. And you guys oh. did it. You made one, oh. two, three videos about me last time. And I only made two videos about you. I was going to respond to the final one. And I was like, I'm so over this. <laughs> I'm so over this. Like, kind of like this video. I'm so over it. I'm just going to see if there's anything else to say. And then I'm over it. <laughs> I want to keep this going for as long as possible. We gotta I'm break. over it. <laughs> Wait, do we really? Yeah, it's break time. Okay. Hey, All guys, right. I'm so sorry to interrupt. We got to go. <laughs> Dan, I guess Dan is over you, Trisha. Dan just dumped yep. on you. Uh, Dan doesn't like Trisha, apparently. He wrote my notes some really harsh things about her. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that I don't like her. It's I don't care. Would you? What would you rate her on a scale of 1 to 10 in terms of attraction? I'd, Be honest. I'd, I don't know. Four. A four? Oh. Three. Dan is mildly attracted to her. Honestly. <laughs> Zach and Ian, what would you rate her on 1 to 10? Go ahead. <laughs> no, I don't want you, my friend. <laughs> come on. All right, you don't have to. Let's go to break. Yeah, they're please. all afraid of the girls they're Yeah, dating. she's going to come in one day, and they're going to have to meet her face to face. You got? You guys should be scared of her. I feel like she's going to strangle me when she comes in here. You're going to have to get security. I'll be your security. The silent Israeli. Make sure to cover your shoulders, though. <laughs> and don't talk over me. You know how it is like an Israeli, la. <coughs> mm, go to bed. <coughs> <laughs> Privacy.com is the place that you need to go to protect your identity online. You use your credit card for reoccurring payments. You use it to buy stuff on PayPal. You even use it to buy furry suits and weird hentai porn from Asia. But you don't want to use your real credit card when you do that. Absolutely not. That's where privacy.com comes in. They give you the ability to make these virtual credit cards that are tied directly to your bank account so that you can purchase play, uh, things in, uh, that you want with your credit card without any risk of, uh, of uh, identity being stolen or reoccurring payments being choking you out of existence. You, uh, there's no issues. There's no problems at all. Look, for example, I just go new card, which I already made here. It's easy to do. Ethan's Amazon card. There you go. Bob is your uncle. Here, I'm going to use it on. I'm going to show you guys how easy it is to use on Amazon. I already got the plugin installed. So all I do is click that. Here it is. Ethan's Amazon card. It's a real card. Use this freaking right there. Boom. There's no problem. There's no risk. It's privacy.com, and here it gets even better. With privacy, head to privacy.com slash H3, and you all are going to get $5 free on your first purchase for a limited time only. Guys, 
That's $5 for free. That's literally free money. Go to privacy.com slash H3 and sign up now. You are going to love the privacy, the ease of mind, and you're going to love that five free dollars, boy. There's plenty of days, Hila, where you just want the food. You don't want to cook. You don't want to go anywhere. You're over it all. It's been a long day, or you just want to treat yourself. I don't need to explain any further. All I need to tell you is that DoorDash connects you to your favorite restaurants in your city. They make ordering easy. You open the DoorDash app. You choose what you want to eat, and your food will be delivered to you wherever you are, Ela. Not only is your favorite pizza joint already on DoorDash, but there are 340,000 restaurants in 3,300 cities, and you might just find a new favorite too, Ela. Okay. And with door-to-door delivery in all 50 states and Canada, Canada, the 51st state, a.k.a., order from your local go-tos or choose from your favorite national favorites like Chipotle, Wendy's, Chick-fil-A, and the Cheesecake Factory, Ela. Don't worry about dinner. Let dinner come to you with DoorDash. But here we go. Let's get interesting right now. Our listeners can get $5 off their first order of $15 or more when you download the DoorDash app. And enter promo code H3. That's $5 for free off your first order of $15 or more when you download the DoorDash app from the App Store and enter code H3. So don't forget, that's promo code H3 for $5 off your first order from DoorDash. Ela. Ela. Like death, mailing things is something we all have to deal with eventually. And that's where Stamps.com comes in. We don't have time as human beings in this fast-paced life to go to the post office. You got to park. You got traffic. You got to lug your package. It's ridiculous. That's why we need a futuristic solution that's that's good for everybody. Stamps.com, the most popular time-saving tool for small businesses and individuals. Stamps.com eliminates trips to the post office and saves you money with discounts you couldn't even get at the post office if you went there. Wow. Stamps.com brings all the amazing services of the U.S. Post Office right to your computer. Whether you're a small office sending invoices or an online seller shipping out products or even a warehouse sending thousands of packages a day, Stamps.com can handle it with ease. Simply use your computer to print official U.S. postage 24-7 for any letter, any package, any class of mail, anywhere you want to send it. Once your mail is ready, you just hand it to your mail carrier or drop it in a mailbox. It is that simple. With Stamps.com, you get $0.05 cents off every first-class stamp and up to 40% off priority mail. Not to mention there's a fraction of the cost of those expensive postage meters. I don't know what a postage meter is, but I'm assuming somebody out there does. Stamps.com is a no-brainer, saving you time and money. It's a no wonder that 700,000 small businesses are already using Stamps.com. Right now, our listeners get a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus free postage and a digital scale without any long-term commitment. Wow. They have truly lost their minds over at Stamps.com. Click on the microphone at the top of the homepage and type in H3. That's Stamps.com. Enter H3. Welcome to the Ethan is late from the bathroom episode. Woo! Uh. Um, that's all I got. Now we just wait silently. <laughs> we're, live. Yeah, we're, live. we're live, Ethan. We're live and we're bored. How we're long just we been sitting live? here. How long have we been live? Five minutes. There's like a fan outside. Um, I don't know if he's a fan, but he was like, hey, dude. And I was like, <laughs> hey, dude. And I locked the fucking door on him. <laughs> <laughs> but he was looks like he was waiting for another office, but I don't know. He looked kind of suspicious. Uh oh. How long have you been live? Just a few seconds. <clears throat> Not that bad, you. <laughs> um. So we talked about Trisha. That was exciting. Um. Oh, there was a write-in from a fan, a trans fan, who wanted to finally close the book on this whole Trisha being trans thing. So I'm going to read this now. They said, "Uh, ha- oh God, my throat is so fucked. Let me take a little sip of water. Does it sound fucked up?" Yeah. <coughs> Little horse. You remember how we did dead air last episode? <laughs> Should do that again. Because mm. we only mm. did it for like 20 seconds. Yeah, because I was asking 
I couldn't even ask because that ruined it. But I was wondering if you if we can't laugh. Is no, it also like a laugh no, kind of contest? You can't laugh. Okay. Just silence. The thing about dead air is that the audience needs to be confused. They need to know, is okay. anyone even there? That's dead air. Okay, I'm ready whenever you are. Should we want to do a dead air off? Do we want to finish the... Should I fin read this email first? Yeah. Okay. No, let's just do it now. We've already set it up. Okay. Okay, here we go. Ian's live switching was <laughs> was making me laugh. You broke. Because he kept switching <laughs> like me and you and the wide screen. It's good. <laughs> I don't want to go too long. I start to feel bad. <laughs> Did you start to feel bad? No, I was getting into it. We'll have to do a whole episode just dead air <laughs> to see how that one performs. We gotta do one with everyone. <clears throat> okay. Hey guys, I love the recent podcast and I just wanted to give some, here, here's a hidden message to Trisha. Trisha, if you are actually a fan and you watch this, they just say, Ethan said meaty vagina flaps. Hey, Trisha's not really trans. And, and then the timestamp that I said it. And you tell me that and I'll apologize for everything I ever said to you. Because you are a true fan of the show. All right. Glad I got that out of the way. Hi guys, I love the recent podcast. I just want to give my input on the Trisha topic. Some background, I'm a trans male who's been out for about four to five years, and I'll be medically transitioning soon. A lot of the stuff Trisha was explaining is just regular stuff women go through. Like Yela said, Trisha was just talking about not dressing overly feminine and wanting to lay low with makeup and not wanting to be sexualized by men, which is funny considering her content. You just got slammed. The majority of women feel that way. Exactly. <clears throat> Trisha mentions no feelings or gender dysmorphia, which is the medical condition that identifies someone who is transgender. If she were to go to a gender identity therapist and ask to medically transition, she would most likely be denied because she has no gender dysmorphia. She also mentions a weird fixation with gay men. In the past, she has been obsessed with gay men, which many find weird. This doesn't make her transgender either. It just means she's fetishizing homosexuals like a weirdo. Very well stated. Her explanation of being transgender is wildly incorrect, and she should not be considered a representative of the transgender community at all. Well, yeah, good point. It hurts me to see Trisha talking about choosing your gender when you cannot, in fact, choose it. Your gender is with you since you're born. It cannot be switched or changed. The reason transgender people are transgender is because their gender doesn't match their sex. If I could change my gender to female to match my, my female sex organs, I would do it. In a heartbeat, because I would no longer have gender dysmorphia. Dysphoria. Oh, I'm sorry. Dysphoria. My bad. It makes me angry to see her inserting herself into a group of people who struggle with this medical condition and at the same time get clowned on by transphobic people. She has no idea what being transgender is like. She is insane, bro. <laughs> this was hell long, but I hope it gave you some insight on the situation. Keep it up. And I look forward to it. And I got a from Grayson, a super trooper. That was actually a really insightful explanation. Yes, I agree. Yeah. Exactly. <clears throat> I've never seen her actually describe anything like <clears throat> that. Like feeling that her gender doesn't match her sex. Yeah. Which is what trans is. Yes. But then again, you know, like she, like uh, Grayson pointed out, dude, you just have a fetish for gay men. That's just a weird thing about you. She's obsessed with Jews. And you're obsessed with Jews. Can we talk about that? That's the strangest thing I ever knew. That's the weirdest thing I can know about <laughs> anybody. I'm Jew obsessed. <laughs> Hi, I'm Trisha Paytas. I'm a Virgo. I'm a Virgo. I like walks on the beach, and I'm Jew obsessed. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Put that on your Tinder profile. Okay, let's get to the bottom of this. Now, a lot of you guys have been wanting a conclusion to The Bachelor with Ian. Yes. I'm sorry to say it up back here. I don't think we're gonna have that conclusion. We were slated to record it tomorrow. Now we had a big argument argument about this in the last episode, and the third girl, the the wild card, does not want to come on the show. Is that right, Ian? That's what's been expressed to me, yes. <laughs> and and why is that? Um they just, you know, don't want to be. Why on the is camera. Ian not on the screen? 
because I told you we need Dan to have a... I see Dan just eating chips. <laughs> Um, Dan, why are you eating during the show? <laughs> why not? I'm not hungry. <laughs> All I see is Dan eating chips, and I want to see Ian. Ian, show yourself when you talk. I'm here. Yeah, what's up? Go ahead. Why she don't want to be on the show? Dan almost looked like that gif where they eating popcorn, like mm, watching right. the drama. Yeah. <laughs> okay, go uh, ahead. Go ahead. Ian. You know, just not everyone wants to be on camera, wants to be a big spectacle, you know? I get Stop! That. You already told me the reason. Why you play hard to get? I'm you already you. told Wait, me the Wait. reason. Which? That she doesn't want to be, she doesn't want him to think that she just wants to be on the show. That's okay. different. That's why we're very specific. We already talked about this. And now you're telling me while well, we're on the air. it's both, I think, right? Yeah, it's both. It's Thank both. You. Let's just keep it low energy. No, there's low, no low energy nice. here on this topic. But I feel like every time I bring Ian on and we have a, converse, a fruitful conversation about something, I'm, I'm like, okay, let's talk about it on the show. It's always like, oh, she just, not everyone wants to be on the camera. That's not what we said. There's more information than that. Not okay. everything we say has to be a big Okay, my problem, yes, Ian, yes. Mm -hmm. is the third girl because she found you through the show. She knows exactly what we're doing here. <coughs> she can't play that innocent. She knows exactly about The Bachelor with the Three, what mm -hmm. we do here. She decided to, you know, talk to you, see what's up. She's now she ruined it for the other two the, girls, the game. and she won't come on on the show. At least say hi, what's up? Yeah, I'm the girl that ruined it. Why would she want to do that? You guys have demonized her. I agree. <laughs> She's with not. Ela. Go ahead, Zach. No, I agree with Ela. I think she totally fucked this up. <laughs> I don't well, want to we ever we hear from you. We were demonizing her. We were <laughs> not demonizing. <laughs> what does that mean? What did you say, Ian? <laughs> I said I don't want to hear from Zach on this. What does that mean? <laughs> what I don't want to take mean? dating tips <laughs> yeah. from you. Dude. What are you talking about? Yeah. Whoa, what is that? What do you mean <laughs> what, by what that? What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean, Ian? <laughs> this is low energy. We all are good, positive. But vibes. not happening, See, Zach, Ian. <laughs> Zach has a lot of a lot of game. I'm not quite sure what you, what 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 his advice is invalid. <laughs> what, to you. Can you can you, you have to expand on that? Yeah, comment. please. <laughs> Just, I don't want to hear from Zach. He doesn't know because he hasn't, he's not on the camera with this. He's not having his dating life put all over. That, all right, that, okay. That's fair. That is very fair. Like, say we just start yelling at you because your girlfriend didn't want to come on the show. Like, is that, that fair to no, put you, you, have a, you have a very valid point. No, he doesn't. No. Well, hold on, hold on, hold Go on. Ahead, Zach. But, Go ahead. but then again, I am in a relationship with my girlfriend. Stop, stop. Why am I on the camera? You guys are having a conversation. Thank you. I, I am in a, a committed, <laughs> devoted relationship, and this is someone you're talking to. Then we have to fix this. You have to have, like, an override switcher. You know what I mean? Yeah, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead. Continue. So, uh, don't... I, okay. I feel like that's... Com gonna <laughs> piss me off. Com completely different. Because you're, you're dating, correct? You're not in a relationship. I'm not dating anyone, yeah. Okay. Well, for the, the sake of the show, I feel like it's been completely uh, messed up. Yes. Yeah, the integrity is gone. And I think we're going to have to call it so off. So I think we had a, we didn't fully establish, so I wasn't supposed to go on any dates or talk to any girls as long as this was ongoing. That's, that's no, okay. If okay. Or those girls, like, I wouldn't be upset if, Either of these contestants were date going on dates right now because this is so drawn out. We okay, let me like let me weeks. tell you. If you found a girlfriend that became serious, I would expect you to tell us, and then we would call it off. You're and in that a committed hasn't happened. Okay, so. but you have a third girl who you're more interested in. You've been talking to. <laughs> You had like a few hours conversation. That I feel like if she was in this, if she was, you talked to her on the phone, Ian. If she was in this competition with the other two girls, you would choose this third girl. Right or wrong? Just go ahead. Tell the truth. I don't get, I'm not, that's irrelevant though, because it's why that's not part of the show. But she, but she, she came to you through the show. No, she came to me through my DMs. If she came through the show, we would she missed be the uh, cut talking off. to her okay, right now. Okay, through the DMs, but where did you? Where? How did she find out about you? I mean, she's, I mean, she, she is aware she, of the show. How did she find out you were single? 
She didn't she mention the dating Had show? How did she find out you're single? Uh, she knew on the show I yeah, said I was thank single. You. Look, at the end of the day, you got to, you know, give back to the papa and mama, Ethan and Hila, <laughs> and that's what it's all about. <laughs> thank you. You have to respect and say thank you. He's right. I, no, I actually, I feel for the other girls, first of all, mm. I wouldn't now bring them here for a pointless date. No, it doesn't sound, yeah. Well, I don't know if he's in love, but he's more interested, it sounds like, in the third girl. Then one of the other girls says she doesn't want to come out. That's a whole new thing. I though. guess Ian, that was the one you were taught. Ian started talking to this girl. Apparently, she's like, I don't want to even come out anymore after talking to him. <laughs> right, Ian? I mean, it didn't play out exactly like that, but. <laughs> well, I, I don't know what to so do. I don't, I don't feel that it's uh, And also honest, for dude. the viewers, I mean, we're not just making, like, fake content there needs to be some realness to it well yeah and ian goes so if, ian goes well it's just content isn't it and i say no first of all how <laughs> dare you uh i don't know what thing. show you're trying to emulate but that's how they all operate no but the pretense is that they're there for do you this know isn't a normal way Zach, to meet people exactly you do you that. know that there's like at least three or four couples from the bachelor and bachelorette that are still happily married to this day and With that's kids. not even including the bachelor in paradise couples that got married and had kids it's not is it's about finding true love but I maybe he found her with the third girl, but she won't even come say hi. I'm calling it off. I'm calling it off. I said, okay, well, why don't you just, let's just claim this third girl the winner and bring her out. And record it for the show. See, that's where, <laughs> you know, not everyone wants to be on camera. Yeah. I respect that. I don't. Nope. You know, I was all excited. I wrote a flamenco guitar piece. Exactly. You did? Yeah. Oh, my God. See. <laughs> So what I'm thinking of doing is that me I and Ian to have to that. have a date now. <clears throat> I'm down. Me and Ian will have a date and Zach will serenade us. That'll probably okay. be more romantic anyway. <laughs> What's going to happen in the date? I'm going to finger his asshole. I disapprove. <laughs> <laughs> You're not on board with this? <laughs> no. Well, Sam, what do you, you want to do? You want to do go through with it with these two girls and claim a winner? Especially when we know that one of them doesn't even want to come now. So what am I supposed to do on our planned segment, Ian? <clears throat> I mean, I don't know. With one of them that didn't even want to come, uh, that kind of botched it anyway with only two. What happened 50% with that? 50% wasn't you, working. Can you describe what happened with the girl that didn't want to come? I think they just felt a little uncomfortable to be flown around the world for this. And you're talking getting honeymoon suites and stuff for people that have never even Fantasy met. suite, Ian. Now imagine, <laughs> can you see why that... That might make her feel weird. I don't weird. know no. what was weird to be. I mean, our intentions were were made quite clear. Flown around the globe yeah. and said, "Here is a honeymoon suite for this person who you've Excuse never me, spoken to." Excuse me, she applied to. for the show, didn't she? But Ian, you're a catch. Any girl would be lucky to do the, that. R- yes, Thank you, Zach. but also should I that. claim Zach the winner? Can we go? <laughs> I got the hair for it. Yeah, yeah. Apparently, <laughs> yeah, you apparently, you don't need our permission, Ian. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Um, it's so, all, I don't it's know. All, that's where it's at. I don't, I don't know. know. By the way, Ian, I'm not. I'm not forcing anyone to spunk with you. I mean, that's outrageous. That's what yeah. you said on the show. I said, that's "Well, fly her think. out. We'll get her a hotel room, and you well, guys will go on a date." Well, the idea you go on a date. I'm kidding. You, I'm not okay. forcing anyone to stay in a room yeah. with you. That's outrageous. so. These are things that we should have made clear. Oh come on! What? I, that's I, what. I, that's I all she knows. I okay. The people who apply to watch the show. She could have asked Dan for more details. Yeah. The one who's organizing the event. <laughs> Not you. <laughs> Any girl would be lucky to come out here and date you. Thank you, Zach. So don't put yourself down like that. Thank you, Zach. Do I have any roses for you, Zach? I think there's one in the fridge. <laughs> oh, Can we just oh, move gee, on thanks. to see Dan, two? what's your opinion? Yeah, what do we do about this? <laughs> yeah, this whole thing is a disaster at this point. It's a disaster. It's such a disaster. Yeah, I know. I do know. we just move on to season two? <laughs> I mean, who's going to want to participate in this shit show? Maybe now? this was just the pilot season. We don't even call it season That's one. That's true. This is the pilot. Well, if this is the pilot, the network's definitely not picking it up. <laughs> who's the next Bachelor or Bachelorette? Should we unveil the next Bachelor? I also feel like I saw people in the comments saying I'm ungrateful for the for what, for I don't know, going on a date. <laughs> for the for opportunity we people. gave you. But since day one, I was never stoked. 
I said I was single, and then you guys said so mommy and daddy ungrateful. have to approve of all dates. <laughs> they do. Ungrateful. That's ungrateful. how it went down. You're so. even more ungrateful. You have than women we thought. falling, tripping over their feet, running to you. You've got women all around the globe. They made powerpoints for, for you, Ian. You. I love the powerpoints. And great. I think they're yeah, really you already cool forgot girls. about the powerpoints. People were calling you an incel. You already right? moved to the new PDF. <laughs> you and you have to be celibate <laughs> to be an incel. You went against the family. That's the part that's hard about this. That's exactly. True. You want to get how do you, what do you what how do you answer that charge, Ian? You, you went, saw those Google shits and you just moved on. <laughs> you went against the family. No, I didn't. I think you guys are making it worse than it is. I was down to keep going, and then you guys, you know, because we're went not into it. fake, Ian. I don't know. I feel like this third girl threw a wrench in it. Okay. I'd like to think that that you being the model employee that you are, a member of this family, as Zach said, <laughs> you would say to me, in a perfect world, you would say, a third girl approached me. She learned about me on the show. I like her a lot. I've been talking to her. I think that we need to end the... End the so say I the, met a girl that wasn't through then the I don't, show over the last two months, mm -hmm. and I've... I have to disclose that to you? No. That's a little different. No, you don't mm. have to disclose that. I don't see how that's different. <sighs> Dude, I'm already really fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> What's right, this? This is over. <laughs> she Jeez. came to you through the show. What's the difference? No, you're not stupid. You're playing dumb. Right, Ela? Did he turn off his mic? Dead air. Yeah, he's out. Dead air. Give him, put him back on, uh, Dan. I'm, he's in charge of his own destiny now. No, no. <laughs> Ian, I didn't mean to call you stupid. I meant you're playing stupid. Okay. There's a difference between a girl who found you through the show and a girl you mm. randomly met, unassociated. I'm just saying, we were at Disney having a good time, and I said, oh, I kind of been talking to this girl a little. She's pretty cool. And I thought you'd be like, oh, that's nice. And then it's become like a huge... <laughs> Awful thing. Is it awful? <laughs> she's called me and she's what like, she? "Yeah, I felt a little uncomfortable about that. I'm feeling weird, and I don't know." How did, she's she's not happy with these kind of conversations. I don't think so. Hmm. Is it souring her experience of being a fan of the show? Who knows? Who knows? But we could just talk about the uh, adults awards if you want to do that instead. You want to come in fun. here? Is that what you mean? Yeah. Okay, come in here. Okay. I love you, Ian. <laughs> I shouldn't have called him stupid. That yeah. was rude. That's that not what I meant. Not cool. I agree. That was that's not what I meant. I meant to Should say we, you're playing stupid. Do you want to get on the kitchen floor? Yeah, I owe him a pol titty apology. Ian, I apologize for calling you stupid. That's not what I meant to say. I blurted it out and I and I and I Ian is it. actually very smart. He's very intelligent. Thank you. He's very sweet. It wouldn't be the first time people have called me dumb. That's not what I meant. I, sh I apologize. That just that was wrong of me. It's okay. And you're a catch, Ian. Thank you're you. Catch. Thank you, Zach. But but you do acknowledge that. I mean, you can see the difference between what I meant is like it should be obvious the difference between. I think we just through the show and not through the show. I think we just didn't get all the ground rules of the show that we probably should have lined. I guess out. we need a lawyer here. Yeah, we need someone An to interpret. Arbiter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well. <sighs> We've been through a lot these past 20 minutes, <laughs> and I feel like I snapped a little bit there when I called you stupid. I'm it's fine. I'm all did good. I offend you? No, it'd be it'd take a lot for you to do that. I'm low energy because I'm sick. I'm so. sick too. I'm low energy, but I just I just feel so bad. I got to put on that bra. <laughs> I apologize on the kitchen floor to you. That would be nice. But um, yes, I was serious about fingering your asshole though. I know. Good. Well, uh, um, Ian is here to present to us. Ian was uh, lucky enough to attend the Pornhub Awards this year. Yes. How did that to come about? Someone uh, reached out uh, to us, extended the invite to, to all of us. Um, the two in the back didn't really, weren't feeling it. <laughs> and uh, you guys, it was kind of last minute, so I don't know. Yeah. You know. <coughs> I mean, I would prefer to send a correspondent. Yeah. So, uh... I told her, yeah, sure, I'll definitely go. I got a plus one. So a friend of mine came with me, and uh, it was it was a lot of fun. It was really cool. So first of all, I'm interested in both Dan and Zach denied to go on the grounds that they didn't want to offend their girlfriend, which I thought was interesting. Let me grab that pamphlet. I don't think that's oh, what yeah. Dan said. 
Oh. I think Dan just doesn't they like... They thought it was disrespectful to the girlfriend. I mean, I appreciate how 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 uh, classic they are. But if it's for work, I feel like they should get a pass. I'm not giving people more shit today. I, I'm leaving everyone alone for the rest of the day. <laughs> Forget I brought it there. I feel like I gotta chill. I'm being too much of a dick. You gotta chill out. I'm sorry, everyone. I'm just trying to entertain everybody. I'm trying to be you know, entertaining here. So this is the pamphlet. Very nice. It's a high quality. Uh... So tell me about the Pornhub Awards. <laughs> so you, did you walk the red carpet? So uh, they gave me the wrong ticket. They gave me a oh, general no. admission ticket, and uh, they had said I'd be like <clears throat> press. So we had to sneak in to the red carpet, <laughs> um, which wasn't too bad. I just kind of pulled an, a random email up and went, oh, as you can see here, I have to be in there. Oh, good job. And the person was kind of like, oh, what do you need to do? And I'm like, I just need to take some photos. And she was like, okay, go. Wow, on. that's, that's <laughs> um, a nice. surprise. I had to do that twice. Wow, good job. One night, because I got kicked out again. Why'd you get kicked out? Well, like... Then I, they moved everyone upstairs who only had this ticket. And then um, I had to get back in. So my friend kind of distracted the security guard and I just like, oh my God, snuck in. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Made man. it work. But uh, we have a lot of fans in the, in oh, the, really? In the community. Anyone notable say hi to you? I wasn't familiar with them, mm. but six different people all came up. <laughs> uh, no way. Yeah. We have pictures. After. Yeah, got a couple. Now photos. these, um, uh, let me see here. Where's the porn of wars? And Belle Delphine was nominated for one. Yes, she was nominated oh. for uh, best celebrity. So apparently that category is decided based on searches. Oh. Um, on Pornhub. Okay. Yeah. Oh, interesting. So that's why a lot of the names. Oh, aren't, really? Uh, on Pornhub. Yeah. That's weird. So Bell is crushing it on the search like, category. Who else was nominated? Because a lot it? of those people don't do porn. Yeah. Like Kim Kardashian was nominated. But people are just searching her name. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um, Bella Thorne was nominated. Um, she won the Visionary Award. Not quite sure what her vision is. <laughs> she on. directed this like short film that oh. was um, pornographic. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Did they show it? They showed like a couple clips of it. Did, no. Did they sh when they show stuff on the screen? Do they show like it going in? Like, no. Or they. Yeah, just like well, topless. What about when they the presented thing. the award for backdoor beauty top anal performer? Did they show a clip of that? <laughs> no <laughs> anal was shown, actually. What about um, what about the category as uh, top BBW? What did you see? Or yeah, <laughs> didn't see a whole lot on that one either. <laughs> they buried the lead a little bit. What about the splash zone top squirting performer? <laughs> I saw <laughs> I saw no splash. No splash. So they didn't show any hardcore porn? <laughs> no. Did you see any titties? On the on the screen, yeah. But they <laughs> People were dressed. Yeah. Which as <laughs> last year, a lot of people were naked. Huh. But the venue got they moved to like a lot nicer venue. And uh, I think No nudity. I think someone had said you have to wear the email I got dress code was like, please no nudity. Mm. And I think mm. the venue required that. As far as it's it's like the walls could talk. What are they afraid of? <laughs> like having some titties in there will will lower the real estate value. Yeah, what about know. the category all at the same damn time? Top double penetration performer. I didn't see any double. <laughs> no doubles going on. Highly experienced top milf performer. <laughs> Can I see that? Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, and they had a lot of musical guests, a lot of cool artists performed, and um, uh, it was actually a lot of fun. It was cool. I can't find the album, Dan. I don't know if I have a, t a timestamp to it here in my document. Um, if you could just send it on Discord. But at any rate, um, okay, one second. so you, so tell me about the process you ran into. So the funny thing about running into Belle Delphine is that you were wearing the I own Belle Delphine hat. Yeah, this time. one here. <laughs> I put on because well, I didn't think she was going to be there. Uh, you knew she was nominated, but you didn't yeah. expect she would fly there from England. So I figured um, I'd just wear it and to represent. Right. Um, <clears throat> And then we were sitting up in the balcony, and <laughs> they said Belle Delphine won the award um, during, like, a break when they were setting up one of the stages. And they went, she's here in the audience. Oh. <laughs> but they, they didn't present it to her. So then my friend actually spotted her in the front row. <laughs> and he was like, is that that girl that you mentioned? Nice. <laughs> and she's dressed as a Grim Reaper. She has, like, a big scythe. 
and her coat said like I eat children or something. It was mm. very uh sexy. <laughs> very elaborate costume she had, very easy to spot and she had her pink hair and all that. And so the moment the show ended, I was like we got to run down <laughs> Because you guys were like, you got to go find Belle. Well, yeah, yeah. I put a lot of pressure on Ian yeah. when I found out he was there. Well, I, and I mean, not believe that she was there. I was actually excited. We were get, we just got done giving Ian a lot of shit, but he, I mean, it sounds like he really put it all into this. You snuck yes. through security, <laughs> you ran through there, you caught Belle, so. Yeah. So I uh, ran down there, my friend distracted the security guard, and I got inside, and then <laughs> kind of ran up to her, and I was like, uh, Belle? And she looked, and she was kind of like, hi, how you doing? Kind of like, okay. <laughs> And then I just pointed at my hat, <laughs> and then she saw it and was like, "Holy shit! Right. Where where did that come from?" And I told her, and she was like freaking out about it. She That's was like, it. "She was like, this is the hat. That's the hat." I was like, "Yep, you That's sent the one it with, with hat, that dude. jar right over there." Yeah. <laughs> and so she was, you know, very stoked on that. That's so awesome. And she was so nice. Really cool person. How about that? That's really cool. Yeah. So you said that she didn't accept her award. Like most people will go up to the stage and accept it, right? Yeah, like, she didn't. Um, they did a bunch of awards that weren't on the camera that they showed. Oh. Um, so they were kind of like, <coughs> okay. While they were setting up, oh, Belle Delphine won best. Okay. Uh, you know, kind of told everyone, best celebrity. So that's interesting. So she won, an, but she doesn't have actually porn on Pornhub, right? She just did those trolls. Yeah, those troll videos. So people, she she had enough people searching for her from that. Yeah. That she won the award for best celebrity. Yeah, I believe that's how it was picked. Yeah. And so um, you didn't see any tits. You didn't see any sexual activity. No. You didn't see anything interesting. Uh, I did go in the bathroom upstairs, and there's a photo of that, but you probably can't show it. But Dan, can you send me the dang uh, album? I did. I don't see it. In Discord? It's in Discord. You don't see a link? There it is. Are any are these all safe to show? Because I noticed some of them had a lot of titty in it. Well we can kinda hide the screen and then Yeah, let me see, let me um how come let me, let me, I, you, there's no videos in this, right? Oh, uh, there's only one video of uh, acceptance speech for best uh, squirter. Oh, you wanted it, it, what's the reason you captured that one and not? I just else? thought it was funny because she said she just thanked like a guy named Mike. Probably the like, dude who makes her squirt. Yo, know, that's what she said. Um, let me <laughs> let me erase this. I think just number three. Yeah, that's the one I erased. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> okay, here we go. So here we go. Ian's journey through the Pornhub Awards. What was the deleted one? It, it had was, a uh, lot of some, nudity. Yeah, it was just okay. Great, yeah. yeah. So here's Ian in a blazer. That's me on the scene. Looking good, man. <laughs> great outfit. <laughs> Not bad. Well, I, I was gonna really goof it up. Like I was gonna get a like a fake mustache and like big aviators and a Hawaiian shirt, but then like five minutes before leaving, my friend was like, he was like, some things came together and I'm looking kind of fly, and he came in a suit. Mm. <laughs> he was gonna do it with me, and then I was like, uh, well, now I don't. You wanted be to actually look good, yeah, for the Mimi. And I was like, what does he think he's gonna? I th well, I think this is way better. This is pretty good. Yeah. So yeah. I was like, well, shoot, and then I had to change quick. But um, because yeah. this makes the hat. So tell really me if any funny. of these people, um, oh, what the hell? Oh, here you go. Yeah, so that was the carpet, um, and, uh. You're upstairs. Oh. So these are fans that came up. Oh, really? Uh, oh, so these are both pornographers? So the one on the right is, um, the one on the left, I, I don't believe so. She, that's just her boyfriend. Um, but. A G. There were a couple people that, uh, if you <laughs> cycle through, these are all fans. All fans oh, wow. who oh. all work in the industry. I wrote down some of their names: That's so, so cool. Freddie, Elise, Kyle, uh, <laughs> Jaime, and and Chloe, and her too. Yeah. Wow. Um, so shout out to all you guys. That's They're awesome. All super nice. You got a cocktail in your hand. What's that you're holding? Yes, yeah, drink. Kind of you know, you were Bloody making Mary. fun of the uh, venue for doing like no nudity, but I think it makes it a little classier. Yeah, yeah, it does, but it's yeah. kind of cool. Awards. But I think it's kind of cool to make it to make like, it classy. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. fairly stated, and also we won't be able to show any of this, right? Yeah. at the same time too. <laughs> yeah, totally. Uh, <coughs> so yeah, it was super classy. The it was fun. Oh, what the fuck is this? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah tell me about that. that one. <laughs> so I went. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't show it. Okay, it's just a sink. It's a bathroom sink with blood covered in blood. Yeah. I went in the bathroom. <laughs> like, so tell me about that. <laughs> I just walked in there and it was just empty, but there was blood everywhere. Probably what? come from cocaine use, I would I was imagine. thinking like oh putting, God. you know, the nosebleeds in the nosebleed section. Mm. Whoa. So what do we see here? So this is just, this was my view. This is um, Damn, kind of what the stage looked like. 
It's a nice looking um, stage. Yeah, it looks great. Yeah, so that was the host, um, Asa Akira. Um, Who's that? She's kind of well known. Oh, she's like Japanese. Yeah, I know her. Um, she's uh, she's Bobby's show a lot. Mm. So she was the host, and she did a good job. the The puns were out of control on the whole thing. <laughs> Every I'm like wondering how you write for a show like that because it was a lot of jokes. It would be like, "Here's the top performer," and I really mean top. You know, like corny <laughs> jokes like that, like nonstop. So Bella Thorne showed so up was, to accept her award. Yeah. So they were really hyping up her her movie. Interesting. Good for her. Um, Brazzers. What did Brazzers win? Brazzers, what didn't they win? Yeah, they won. Uh, I think just best. Um, Best, uh, best, where is it? Uh, c- kind of, uh, oh, top channel. Hmm? They beat out oh, Blacked. No. <laughs> they, oh, wow. Somebody, <laughs> uh, I have a hard time believing Blacked was beat. <laughs> they won the, um, the, the, uh, what's his name, Weinstein? Ha- they won the Harvey Weinstein Award. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> well, he's a big producer. Oh, and uh, they pro and you know, pro- I would imagine the producers there probably fuck some of the girls. I don't know if I'm making assumptions. I don't understand <laughs> the joke. <laughs> the Harvey Weinstein one. Let's move on. So here's Danica Maury. This was her little speech for really good orientation. There, Ian. Well done. <laughs> He's for top squirter. Top squirter. Congratulations to her. Steve. Really yes, congratulations. Thank, and thank you, you Steve. to Steve. Good job, Steve. And thank you to Steve, especially. <laughs> Steve knows Is that everything? Um, there's more. Yeah, there's a couple. Uh, oh, oh, and here's the horse. How we forget? So here's, here he is with <laughs> Belle Delphine. No! <laughs> How did she smell? How close were you to her? I wasn't close enough for smell. You could smell it from that distance. Well, I was a little sick, so, you know, maybe I'm I'm asking for all the f- people watching who are obsessed <laughs> with her. <smell>. Um, <laughs> how did she look up close? She looked, um, I mean, pretty similar. She, she looks the same? Yeah. Um, you know, I could see her, her wig and stuff that she's rocking. Mm. Not natural curls, but, no. um, yeah. What was she, she wearing? Was she wearing lingerie? I can't tell. I think maybe under it. Yeah. And then the big cloak. She had. The, she was wrapped in this big cloak. It's pretty bad. But everyone was really excited to see her. Mm-hmm. Like as I was right after this, um, Riley Reed right came up and was like, "Sorry to interrupt your guys' conversation, but I just was wondering if I could get a photo with <laughs> with uh, Bell." And and, and how did Bell respond? Like, multi- she was very gracious. She took photos with a bunch of people, but she seemed to be very big hit there. Oh yeah, yeah. she's dude. She's. I don't know that. I mean, I don't know much about. What she's done, but I don't think she's ever gone out in public like this. Yeah, she's very mysterious. So. That's why I was taken aback by you know how how open and, and she was very uh, sweet. Yeah, um, I'm surprised there's not more video. I know you had an idea for a sketch to like ask interview porn stars and ask them what they thought about the Kurdish situation. <laughs> Whatever happened with that? I guess you didn't really get the access. That I I didn't. You didn't promised. have the access. Uh, yeah. man. Yeah. So this is afterwards. You went and chased her down. Yeah. So I was in this an area was I wasn't supposed to be. gorilla style access. Yeah, I was really like Michael Moore in there, just <laughs> right. like charging people and, you know. Did you ask her any specific questions? Did you get to the bottom I of I asked thing? her, um, I told her that we'd love to have her on, obviously. There, yeah. thank you, very good. I'll clearly... I extended that direct. <laughs> I asked her, did you really get arrested? And she was like, I can't speak on that. Yeah, uh, fair enough. You know, uh, I don't remember anything else. Just a couple rapid fire things. I said, mm. you guys obviously would love her, love to have her. Yeah. yeah. Um, she was wondering where you guys were. Yes. Well, so not there. Unfortunately, we have a baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can't bring the baby. I don't think. I feel like no. I feel like in a parallel universe we could have gone to that. I don't mind going to this event. Yeah. It was fun, and the music did, was honestly, great. A parallel universe where we didn't have a baby. It was all kind is what of, I mean. No, I mean, even yeah. with having it, I don't see Well, because we don't deal. do anything. Yeah. Not it, with that. We would point. just have to plan for it, yeah. and this was all kind of very last minute. Yeah. 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 Now it's all like we need to coordinate who's watching Theodore, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. watch who's Shift, got dog. who's got the dogs. Well, 2020 Pornhub. But <laughs> exactly it, you thank go. you. Yeah. This picture is epic. This is iconic, yeah. man. Yeah. This is great. I'm so glad I found her. Yeah. I was worried I'd miss her. I was like <laughs> waiting for a while. Everyone was leaving. <laughs> the security was kicking people out. 
um, Jake Paul sprinted by. Oh my God! What the hell? And him and that guy from Impulsive, like Logan's sidekick. Yeah. And they looked all like frantic and crazy. He's probably his uh, blood in the bathroom from. <laughs> <and> the <boat. laughs> yeah, uh, I think Tana was t- Tana. She was nominated for something. Yeah, I think she was nominated for best top celebrity. top celebrity. That's a, that's amazing yeah. that Bell won even without having like act- anything on Pornhub except those gags. Yeah. But what does Tana have on Pornhub? People are searching Tana's name? I have no idea. I guess, yeah. So, huh. uh, yeah. Um, and then at the very, I'd been in there and I was about to leave and then she finally came oh, out. Oh, thank you. Like, yes. So glad. Did so, you know who you were? Nope. Oh, no. <laughs> that breaks my heart. <laughs> no idea. We were following it all live as Ian was updating and it was very exciting. I assume she was. Because we didn't think she would even be there. And I yeah. was like, oh, she's there. Well, I and I asked. I was like, <laughs> "I'm really surprised you were here." Um, and she said that it was kind of a very last minute opportunity. And then mm. she took him up on it. And then she was leaving back to England like the next day. Mm. So she kind of came in, came out yeah. for the awards. So um, it worked out. It worked out pretty well. <laughs> That's disappointing. She didn't know who you were because I always assumed she was a super fan. A super fan. Yeah, I guess it means she's just been watching her part, yeah. you know, yeah. of the podcast. Mm. You yeah. got to know who Ian the intern is. <laughs> well, well, Ian, we were just so proud. Now. We were so proud of you that you mm-hmm. got out there, you got the photo, um, you snuck in, and you re- you really made it happen. And so <laughs> on this day, we planned a little something special to honor you. Okay. So first... <laughs> This one dollar bill. Oh wow! And what this symbolizes is that you are no longer an intern; you are a salaried employee. That is oh that you've god. officially been paid. Okay. Oh my god! And then, so here we've got employee of the month in the salaried employee, right here. You can see <laughs> that's the Nelson Pornhub Award. And here, that's for you. Well, we're going to put it up on the wall. And then here it says, Employee of the Month awarded to Ian, the salaried employee, awarded by the H3 podcast. Well done. Excellent work this month, and you are an example of... You You are an example to your colleagues. Keep it up. Proud of you. <laughs> this is Employee of the Month. And that says employee, not intern. I'll have you notice. So you are no longer known as Ian, the intern. You are herefore known as Ian, Ian the salaried employee. So, congratulations. I'm going to try not to spend it all at once. Yeah, don't blow up, because you can still get demoted. Okay, this is but, exciting. Thank yeah. you, guys. Yeah, thank you. Thank Ian, you. Ian, the salaried employee, everybody. We appreciate it. Incredible. Awesome. Yeah. All right, get out. Okay, you no, can leave now. Out. Yeah, <laughs> Quickly. All right, thank you, guys. Thank you, That Ian. was awesome, yeah, and was I am beautiful. really glad that you went. Yeah, this, this picture is fantastic. I mean, damn. Now, we have to address, Ethan... Every time we talk about Bell, mm-hmm. people get upset. Why? In the comments because they think that I am upset. <coughs> oh, you're upset because that they think that you're obsessed with Bell. Well, I, I do. personally, I, you're gonna make a joke, but I <laughs> personally have no. I don't see it that way, and I don't know why people see it that way. I think people just. I mean, I play it up like that. I joke about yeah. like I asked Ian, "How does she smell?" Which is, I think, funny thing to ask. But uh, do you feel like, oh, why do you have to ask that when I say to Ian, "How did she smell?" I don't. Yeah, you shouldn't, because I'm joking, and you're not insecure. You're my wife of seven years, and you know that I'm just kidding around. That I don't actually want to fuck Belle. I feel like ev- even though what she does is I, pornographic, right. we can appreciate the hustle. Oh, which is of what we both. And by appreciate, you mean. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> no. I've never jerked off to Belle Delphine porn. It's not my cup of tea. The whole, all the octopuses. The octopus. And, you know I mean? <laughs> she scares me, honestly. She scares me a little bit. I feel like she's so freaky that. Um, like on her Patreon, it says she's into Daddy Dom. I was like, oh God, I didn't even. <laughs> she wants me to role play as her daddy? No. <laughs> no dads involved here. Well, actually, when we have sex now, Ela, it is kind of Daddy Dom because I'm a dad now. 
Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't know if people are serious, but yeah, I don't know. But I keep seeing it every time, so I feel like I should say something just so people know. Okay. Well, I I, I kind of feel like it's. Uh, I don't know. To me, it seems clear, but I guess it's not to everyone. I can't. I don't know if they're kidding either, but we're all just having fun here, obviously. And some of them aren't. From what I've seen, it seems pretty serious. Oh, for real? Yeah. But people getting upset about it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, what are they saying? Like, it's just like that you're the you're obsessed with her. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, I didn't know about that. Yeah. Oh, well, chill out, idiots. Do yeah. <laughs> well, you these, ever find these are, yourself uh, getting <laughs> offended on behalf of somebody else in a relationship? Take take a step back. That's honestly. like a, that's like, an insult comment. Yeah. Who's like, I would, n if I had Eli, I would never treat her that disrespectfully. <laughs> it's kind of insulting to <clears throat> everyone, in my opinion, to assume that we can't, first of all, that we can't appreciate what she does because it's pornographic and immediately means that you just are obsessed with her, mm -hmm. you know? It, it can be separate. And second of all, I don't know. I like what she does. Mm -hmm. I don't... I don't see the problem with it. Um, yeah, it's the same people who are like anti Twitch thought. It's this crazy incel, these these this like really toxic uh, thread through these lonely, pathetic men who who think that having a pair of tits is the ultimate trump card in life. And they're first of all pissed that they're able to make money by being hot girls, and second of all that they don't get to fuck them. And so they see you as a hot girl, first of all, on top of all that, and how dare I disrespect you. If you were my girl, I would fist you every night. That's what they imagine it feels good. The incels. Got it. I like that. Um, yeah, I mean, it's it, that must be someone who really has no maturity on a relationship level. We're here in a podcast. We're having fun. We're having laughs. Yes, if Belle Delphine was close to me, I would smell her hair. That doesn't mean that I don't love Eel and that I wouldn't cherish, e I wouldn't continue how to cherish Eel as my wife. How dare you say that? That doesn't mean that if I heard Belphine like pass gas that I wouldn't pretend to go tie my shoelace and smell her ass. <laughs> Such a dad. That doesn't mean that I don't love my wife. It doesn't mean immediately that I would cheat on Belle. Such a dad don't. Cheat on Eel, I mean. <laughs> um... I feel like we've talked about it before. We we appreciate what she does. I think I, mean, I think it's funny. awesome. She's she, a really funny entertainer. You don't see a lot of um, strong, powerful females, she and is. Yeah. I think that's what she is. And I don't. And I think it's just <clears throat> cool. Well, like there was all these super angry incels that mass reported yeah. her Instagram account. Yeah, it's like, bro, why are you angry? Just get like seriously get a fucking life if you're actually angry that she trolled you with the fake porn bro Get a, oh my god try explaining that to a significant other Why are you upset because this porn girl? I like trolled me on the internet She said she was gonna post porn, but she only posted a picture of her actually eating a cream pie instead of getting a cream pie Bro you have <sighs> You know, incels is the new uh, terrorist organization. There's more shootings performed by incels than freaking Islamists in this country. Confirm that. Do you agree with that, Dan? That there's more incels than Islamists? Doing mass shootings. <laughs> no, doing mass shootings in America. Oh, um, yeah, I mean... They have been the last... connected to a few... I don't think there's been any Islamist terrorists, so uh, mass shootings. Oh, I mean... I'm... I'm pretty sure that's not true either, but uh, you're probably right about there being more. I can't insane. recall. Oh, was there? I can't recall. It's there always have been so many the mass shootings. Shooting, no, nope. yeah, I, club. Oh thing, yeah, you're I right. Believe, that was that was an uh, Islamist. Yeah. Um. So they do get one point for that. Congratulations <laughs> to the Islamists. I, I, I it's Let's, it's unfortunately hard to keep tabs on them all, so yeah. I'm, I can't rattle off the top of my head. Yeah. But um. Yeah, but no, at the, any the rate, are, they're out there. They're they out, there. out there. I, they're they're, they're doing it. <laughs> They're pissed, dude. I don't get the whole insult thing. It's just, it's so, it's like, bro, just, if you weren't so pathetic, it's almost like the chicken and egg. They're so pathetic that they can't get laid. It's like, just stop being so pathetic and you will get laid. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying, Zach? <laughs> Zach specifically, what? do you know what, <laughs> what? I'm saying? <laughs> What? <laughs> we're, off, we're off the rails here. Yeah. 
we've reached. <laughs> Congratulations, Bell. Um, the rails just broke. Dan, yeah, we're off the rails. Um, we are off. I want to show you guys a Turkish. Uh, my boy CZN did some crazy uh, watermelon <laughs> gags. Look at this shit. Dude, the force that comes out of that watermelon is crazy. Oh, by the way, exciting development here. What's Did that? you look at the description? Cool. Which description? Of this post. What? It's got English. Can you guess what is inside my watermelon? Oh, shit. I think we're single-handedly responsible <laughs> for him branching out to the English community. You know, I was I was on his page, um, and he deleted a lot of his videos. Really? Yeah. What? Which ones? Yeah. The ones with the sad face? Bro, uh, I've noticed a lot of people <laughs> on Instagram doing that. It was that. off brand. <laughs> I've noticed a lot of people on Instagram deleting their old pages, and I don't understand why. Oh, Instagram, you really going to play me like that? All right, well, eat my dick. Eat it. <laughs> so what was this watermelon video? Is this a science? Yeah, it's science channel. He's branching out. He's <laughs> doing it all, man. But I'm 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 shocked at the force of that explosion. I mean, yeah. that's that's really something. Step back, dude. Damn. Look at that shit. I mean, it's still really going cool. up. Thank yeah. you, man. I did it. It's probably just uh like the Mentos trick. But yeah. look at the foam. That's so much. Look at it, it's falling. It's there's so much foam. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it looks really cool. Congratulations to CZN for stepping up his game once again. <laughs> Can we try that? Yes, absolutely. Yes. Dan, look into that. I really want to do we that. We should, um, okay. for the charity stream, make Joey Solid stand over it, looking in. I don't know. There there have been questions about Joey Solid's, you know? If to include him? Yeah. Why, just because he's like a neo-Nazi and uh, <laughs> exactly. like a, well, I mean, what's the problem? <laughs> Praise Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> well, we always humiliate him as part of the show. We, yeah. It's always at. It's always to his detriment. Like he suggested, he wanted to set himself on fire this year, and make it look like an accident. I was like, oh, let me see if that's covered on my uh, insurance, Joey. <laughs> With her boob coming out. <laughs> yeah. What's the dislike about Joey Salads? Because he's incited he... race wars. <laughs> <laughs> I like how he's become like a Trump reply guy now. Yeah, exactly. He because just replies to everything Trump ever posts. He's promoting his run for Congress or something because he'll mm -hmm. he'll like suck Trump's dick immediately with some like uh, immediate comment, and then under his comment he'll be like, "Support me uh, for my run for Congress." Mm -hmm. And then under that is just 500 <laughs> pictures of him pissing in his yeah, own mouth. Yeah, and immediately afterwards is always a picture of him naked pissing in his own mouth. <laughs> it's so funny. It's the best ever. But he's getting upvoted a lot, so if Joey actually wins a seat in Congress, I think that it would be insane. What do we do about that? I'd move. <laughs> I'll have to run against him and then following it. Ooh, I'll there have you to go. Unseat him. There you go. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> no, not move, Dan. Uh, action starts here. We must be the change that we see in the world. Uh, okay. I will unseat him. <laughs> That'd be epic. That would be fucking so... epic. Gloves off. We might need to do a vote or something and make a decision because it's becoming a big decision. If to have Joey Salads? Yeah. I think the vote overwhelming, yes, but I'll okay. I'll let the people decide. Because mm. there, fact, Dan, there has well, been some concern expressed from the... I understood. ...the participants of the last stream. I wouldn't out them like that. I didn't say who. Yeah, but... <laughs> <laughs> All two, <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't say who. I wouldn't out him like that. <laughs> but I mean, from fans as well. That too. Why don't we make a straw poll and put it in the description? Yeah. And everyone who gets this deep in, go to the description, unfold it, and then you'll see a straw poll. It will say, "Should Joey Salas be included in the next charity stream?" And you can vote yes or no. Just remember, if yes, it will be something like humiliating to him. Maybe we'll make him drink his own piss again, when or he maybe he eat his own doo doo. <laughs> when he was when he was puking, that was some funny shit. You see, thank you, Zach. He was in a damn pool of milk. <laughs> what do you guys vote, then, Ian and Zach? You know what my vote is. <laughs> don't make me say it. I uh, I don't think politics should be brought into it. I, mean, I don't if, think so. If we, if we keep it a non-political okay. arena, yeah. So we got a um, no. We got a yes. Joey's funny. I like Joey as a person on a personal level. Like, Ian, I do. Um, uh, 
I, I can't think about it. Um, I'm not sure. I got to mull it over. Yeah. Weigh all the pros and cons on this mm. one. I mean, if people don't want him here, then I feel like the vibe's going to be off. You know? As yeah, far as, like, that's true. It's that's about the vibe. It's all about the vibes, Ethan. Come on. It's all about that vibe. I'm not, I'm not arguing. Because we want to be happy. <laughs> charity. You know. All right, so then, Zach, do you Good. volunteer to eat... Uh, to uh, yeah, yeah. See, we drink my own we don't need Joey. Dan, it's do you actually, volunteer? Oh, Dan's gonna eat a mayonnaise cake. <laughs> we already said right. uh, if if it's for a good cause, I will. I'll, yes. I'll do something. I'll do some crazy. I am gonna puke live on it. Maybe though, maybe so we if, should if all. That's cool with you. We should, yeah, we fine. can we can Great, donate encouraged. for you to taste it and then donate again when you puke. Mm. Cool. We should devise maybe <laughs> something terrible for all of us to do. Yeah. And then so at each milestone we yeah. each do something horrific. There you go. Yeah. I'll drink yeah. my own piss. Like somebody should hit whoa, whoa, whoa. the Did Gatsby full. Sp- yeah, I heard that. That's Ooh, pretty wild. But that's okay. Pretty wild. Will you if, pee if, in your own mouth? I mean, how can we show that? Do you plan on never running for Congress? Yeah, I don't yeah, want to bite you in the ass. I don't <laughs> want to <laughs> know it. I just want to know if you do it. Anything for the show. Are you planning to be attorney general at one time? <laughs> <laughs> I, what I'd like to do is maybe hit the Gatsby full speed into a wall. Okay. I mean, that's old news, dude. No, but you're right. But It's been done. But That's true. Yeah. I'll do it harder. But not harder. like <laughs> intentional, like straight into a wall. Yeah. Intentional. Straight into a wall. Full People speed. People should suggest what each of one of us yeah. should do. Yeah. I don't know what mine would be, but I'm down. <laughs> to debase yourself in some way like that? Something, yeah, something. All right. But if it is for a, a the right dollar amount and anything for the show, I will take a sip of urine. Jesus, I, well, that, I don't think anyone actually wants to see that, but thank you. <laughs> I'll, I have a dollar, Zach, if you want to. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> um, for that. I wanted, I wanted to, I should have touched on this last episode, but we had this wonderful moment from Bobby Lee and Kalila's <laughs> where Dan interrupted... Um, to go to break during a, one of the most touching, heartwarming moments that Bobby Lee had. I used to pray. I didn't even really believe in God, but I used to go, God, please kill this fucking cocksucker. I fucking hate him, you know? Uh, hey, guys, I'm so sorry to interrupt. We got to go to break. <laughs> <laughs> Dan. Why would you break there? Dan. Dan, why would you break there? <laughs> That was uh, such a fantastic moment. I and could you know, tell you were in on it by the way you laughed yeah, immediately. <laughs> yeah. Hey, guys, I'm so sorry to interrupt. we got to go to break. Such a clean soundbite, too. Um, I got hate for that. It was so There were hate fun, posts though. on the subreddit. Really? That, but yeah. not really? Did they get a lot of traction? No. I, it was my I responded, fault. actually. You did. Oh, oh, rookie geez. mistake. Don't respond. Uh, hey, no, guys, no. It, so sorry to out. interrupt. We got to go to break. <laughs> <laughs> um, I definitely pushed Dan to do it, but his timing was like superb. Okay. There was no good time there. The conversation yeah, the was co- so heavy. Yeah. Because I, I was the one, I knew we needed to go to break, but yeah. you know, he was like, he was really getting into some heavy stuff there. And, and actually, it, we had, I had people who, <laughs> were fans of his shows who are friends of mine who are saying they've never seen him get that real before even on his show yeah and so dan kind of totally <laughs> fucked that up <laughs> yeah, to play to that. sorry bobby no it was a great episode and but it was um, a great moment then thank you for your service you did <laughs> hey guys i'm so sorry to interrupt we gotta well, go break anyway we had a it, it generated a lot of great memes that i wanted <laughs> to review with you guys let's see <sighs> Oh yeah, the comments. Um, right. Walter Cronkite, the president has been. Sh- Dan, we we got to go to break. <laughs> the answer to life is, oh, you should hit me with the soundbite, Zach. We got to go to break. <laughs> you got it. Hey guys, I'm so sorry to interrupt. We no, gotta no, go no. To break. We got to go to break. Do you have the technology? What are you talking about? It just says we got the gotta technology go to, break. to cut. We got to go to break. Oh. Yeah. yeah. You ready, Zach? Yeah. The answer to life is... So sorry to interrupt. We got to go to break. Come in a little bit earlier. A plane has crashed sorry into the world. We got to go to break. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Epstein didn't commit suicide. See, that one came to play. Yeah. Epstein didn't commit suicide. What's so going on here? We got to go to break. <laughs> You're just pushing a button. I don't understand. Sorry to interrupt. We got to go to break. <laughs> what is really happening at Area 51 is... So sorry to interrupt. We got to go to break. Zach, you got to cut him off. You got to cut him off, dude. What's going on? Obama's last name is... So sorry to interrupt. We got to go to break. There you go. I don't get that one. I think it's just because it's stupid because his last name is Obama. It's it's a meme I've seen people repeat. Mm. Oh. 
My dad died. So sorry to interrupt. You. <laughs> <laughs> the P is stored so in. So sorry to interrupt. I'm having a stroke. So sorry to interrupt. Abraham Lincoln. So sorry to interrupt. We gotta go to break. Four scores in seven years. So sorry years. to interrupt. We gotta go to break. <laughs> All right, now you're just pushing it. <laughs> you're going crazy. Here's uh, Kanye interrupting. Was it Taylor Swift? Yeah, I included the little caption. So above. sorry to interrupt. Yo, Bobby, I'm really sad for you, and I'm gonna let you cry. But we just gotta go to commercial break right now. Hey, Ela, can I drop the N bomb? What's the N bomb? Just no, Ethan. Don't mozzarella break time. Wow. What is that? Why is this here? <laughs> it was on the subreddit. You got up on it. All right. What? We're duty bound to report it. So that's a new one, eh? I like it. Honestly. You like that? I love it. Can we get the honest one? Honestly. No. <laughs> so that was a great thing. Um, Fortnite Zach, you is don't have any sound bites of me. And I don't know how I feel about that. I have the the what up big pimps and I that's don't true. Know, that's uh, true. Wrong but those cause. are old. You're the wrong street, cause. Yeah, Dude, I, the gunshot is so good. I can uh, I can find some. Just like yeah, or what? What is it that people say? You say, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Honestly, honestly, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, honestly. <laughs> um, there's a couple of stories here. I saw this. I was browsing Facebook, and one of my friend's moms that I grew up with. This is the dumbest shit. You guys fa- Oh no, I can't open it because Facebook makes you log in. Alright, that's the dumbest shit. Mm -hmm. It was a deep fake. I wish I could show it to you guys. It was a scene from The Shining where they superimposed Jim Carrey's face over Nicolas Cage's face. And it was obvious that it was a deep fake because it was like scene for scene. And it had like 20 million shares of all these Facebook moms going, Wow, Jim Carrey's so talented. What? And he totally- and I'm like, oh my Jesus. God. that's scary. And I'm like, yeah, it's scary. It was all these moms that didn't know that it was fake. By the way, sorry to. I was done talking. We, I'm so sorry. So to sorry interrupt. to interrupt. We gotta go to break. Yeah. Uh, we sk you skipped over the Halloween planning. Was that on purpose or did you forget? Because no, Halloween okay. planning. Well, we are gonna plan for Halloween uh, special segments. How's that going, Dan? We want to get. I want to send Ian to a haunted house to get this, like, one of these really scary ones. You know what I'm saying? Where they have, like, chainsaws and shit. Are you okay with that, Ian? Yeah, I'm done. And thank you. He's into those. And I want to oh, send the whole really? crew to the Queen Mary. That's which, including all of us. Yeah, all of us. So I'm going to go all of us. In fact, I'm thinking even to get a cameraman so we can all be on the... My bro. Mm. Yeah, your bro's going to record. Are we going to sleep there? No, I just want to do a tour. I don't want to. I don't got time for this shit. Where the, is it? The Queen Mary thing that you're talking about is a haunted house. You kind well, of. It's kind of the same thing. Oh no, no. There's no. It's the boat itself is supposed to be creepy and weird, but it's not like jump scares. It's just. I a, think during Halloween that it is like jump scares. There's normally really? like the ghost tours there, yeah, but uh, during Halloween they turn it I into think like it, a full blown. I like, think it's outside thing. the. I think it's there, but outside the boat. Okay. It is haunted. Um. Well, if it's a jump scare, I don't want to do it. I'm not doing that shit. <laughs> You're not into that, huh? Well, no. I just don't think we would be able to capture that, too. Well, we got to do it with Ian. But, like, all of us. That's a good point. A lot of those... I, I worked one years ago uh, at Six Flags uh, a couple years in a row, and they, they don't let campers in. Well, we need yeah. to reach out. We, if anyone works at one of these haunted houses, please reach out to us. Because we need some special permission to record there. Yeah. But I wonder if you could give him a call, Dan, and see if anyone's down. Just say, hey, we're from the H3 Podcast. We are the most popular show on the planet. We have <laughs> they say millions. it on the streets. All over the streets, they're saying that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, ask anyone on the street. We've got millions and millions of views. We're highly respected in all entertainment circles. We've had Bill Burr, Barack Obama, <laughs> George W. Bush Sr. Really? We've had Roseanne Barr. So would that be like the that? we do the whole episode <coughs> from the boat? or? I think it would be a... I think we would make a segment, a segment, and then we'd have Ian's segment at the haunted house, and then we would comment on it. So it'd be like 50% segment, 50% us commenting on the segment. Okay. Sounds fun. Yeah. Halloween uh, spooktacular. Let's do it. We don't have much time, so I guess, so we got to rattle the Just dags. Just a couple weeks. <laughs> rattle yeah. the dags. Yeah. So it's a day trip? It's here? Uh, it's in Long orders. Beach. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's close. A couple Queen hours. Mary. Not even. It's yeah. It's relatively cool. close. I think I'm unspookable, so I'll be interested to see. 
Me too. I mean, not jump scares and chainsaws. I don't like all that stuff. But like in terms of like creepy ambience and shit. No, see, I, I, I think that I'm unspookable. So I will be going in there. I think all three of you guys are going to get extremely spooked, though. Uh, why? <laughs> why do you I know. That I know Ian and Zach will. Dan, Dan, I'm less sure about. Well, I got a question. I, I don't mean, believe in ghosts, so no, not really. <laughs> you, you guys ask like ghost story questions, but like, do you guys believe? No, in ghosts? Zach. No. Watched the show. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry to interrupt. We got to <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> yeah, me neither. I That's mean, why we never like that segment, even though the fans like it, because it's always the like, whole time you're just thinking this is bullshit. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, I'm thinking this person's full of crap, <laughs> and I always preface it with saying, I don't believe in any of this shit. Yeah, you went, do you, you went ghost hunting for a video once, and it was right? a disaster. It was awful. Oh, with posts, everybody right. got angry at me because yeah. I wasn't taking it seriously. Yeah, well, too bad. We went to like the scariest place. It was so dumb. Was the devil's jaw. The, double, the devil's asshole. <laughs> some scary place in the middle of the night, and there was nothing there except some crickle noises and crickets and. Ooh, and then know. what they do is they whip out these like apps. It's like, yeah, on the app store, it's going to be picking up ghost sounds. And then it's like... Oh, for like the ecto, the ecto detector they or go, whatever? They go, shh, shh, I sucked balls when I was a girl. <laughs> I'd be like, whoa, <laughs> crazy that ghost just said he sucked balls when he was a girl. <laughs> I sucked balls. Well, so if you think it's so stupid, why do you want to do this Queen Mary thing? I think You're it'll be funny. Think I think too. it will be funny. All right, all right. We just want to do a Halloween episode. I think that. that it will be funny. Because I'll go there unspookable, where I went with Post, he wanted to be spooked, he wanted to believe. I did not want to believe, I'm unspookable. But what if I do get spooked? That's funny, that's tense, there's a lot happening. But Ian and Zach will be scared. I think Dan, the ghost, will get to Dan. <laughs> I don't know why he feels like that. <laughs> I think Dan uh, will ultimately get spooked. Well, how, right. how are Ian and Zach feeling about ghosts? I don't think we've ever discussed that. Um... Yeah, you're spookable. Well, here's the thing. Halloween's my favorite holiday. Um, but as far as, like, paranormal activity, I don't know if I necessarily believe in it. I'm mm. just scared of it. Scared mm. of it being real. There you go. He's, so he's, you believe yeah, in something. Good. Well, I mean... Yeah. He yeah. entertains You're the gonna have a hard time in there. Yeah. Yeah. Ian? Uh, I don't believe in any of it. I, um... I think I'm unspookable. We may need to wow. change plans. <laughs> well, no, it'll be interesting. We're all unspookable, except Zach. We're just going to be like, here's the You know what we should do? It's just be going through, and then all of us stop walking, and then Zach starts wondering, like, for a minute by himself, and he goes, guys, and then we're all gone. Just fuck with Zach? Yeah, that's, just fuck that's with Zach. Gee, okay. thanks. <laughs> do you think that place you went to, because you were in a group, it made it less scary? They were trying to be scared. I don't know. I mean, if I was by myself, I'd... Well, if I was by myself, I wouldn't even know that the place would be I mean, haunted. The only I'm more reason, scared of homeless people that's than what I am I was of ghosts. Say, and the only reason <laughs> it was tweakers. scary it was like we're in the middle of nowhere in the middle of the night. Yeah, I'm scared of tweakers hit, stabbing with their AIDS needles <laughs> than, more than ghosts. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I do, actually. See, I won't do like the jump scare haunted houses, though. No, fuck that. Yeah. Always fuck that. I don't want to have a heart attack. That shit is not cool. Ian's going to do that. <laughs> the salaried employee. Right, Ian? Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> well, I think the Queen well, Mary will be fine. Maybe someone has a better suggestion for the Halloween episode. Leave it in the comments if you do. <laughs> See what you got. I think the Queen Mary will be fun. Maybe the we all gang. go trick or treating. <laughs> I just go in a diaper. <laughs> I'm trick or treating. I'm Bobo. <laughs> Okay, what else we got here? We're off the rails. Fortnite is offline and people are freaking out. I guess it's back. It's back now. But it's there was some now. funny things that came out of it. Uh, they, I don't give a fuck. I can't talk about this. I really don't <laughs> give a shit. <laughs> people were crying. Kids were punching their screen. Here's a kid punching his screen. This was funny. Here, this is what's going on here in the world when Fortnite's down. You see, Ela? <laughs> Wait, he didn't even break the TV. I thought he broke the TV. It's just a black hole. Pretty cool how it didn't break. Epic! <laughs> uh, well, here's something we can end on. 
There's no episode on Friday, because we're moving. This, you know the guy who did the sup, dude? He, uh... Can you pause it for a second? It's so <laughs> intense, I can't even hear you. Oh. I'll just turn it down. Um, the guy who did the sup, 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 comp, did the, did uh, every comp I've ever done. And this guy's got a lot of free time. Jesus. This guy's got so much free time. This is just, I was telling the guys here, this is just the soundtrack of my life. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, this is crazy. There's a lot in that video. Fucking intense, dude. Dude, there's a lot of coughing in that video. It's kind of a you blast know, through time. Theodore really doesn't like Ethan's coughing. Uh oh. Like, the dogs can bark and he's unfazed, and then Ethan coughs and he's just like, every time <laughs> he gets startled by him. it. <laughs> I don't this, know why. This is pretty interesting to watch, I'm not gonna lie. It's like a blast through the past. This guy really went through all these, huh? We're back in New York the, now. What's the duration on this video? Um... We are, um, wow, not even, I mean, we're only one-seventh the way through. Seven minutes. <laughs> So that's it. Um, <laughs> who made this? It was a uh, tubes. This video only has 300 views, 295. Not a lot. Apparently, people don't want to watch this tube. Sorry. <laughs> well, this I feel is like we could use this guy as uh, expertise. Expertise. Yo, I wonder if this guy wants to do highlights for us, Dan. All right. Reach, Reach out, out to tubes. tubes. Tubes, right? Uh, tubes, right? Uh, let's see. Email at podcast at h3hreproduction.com Dan will reach out. We're, we have work for you. You're hired. <laughs> <laughs> he says in the pinned comment this took four months of watching every single H3H3 wow. video I can manually tell. editing together yeah. the coughing clips. This is insane. Dedicated. Is so I insane. need a song this dedicated in my life. <laughs> can you imagine working four months and it just has 295 views? It's a super fan right there. Yeah, we need this I mean, he just published it. And we'll get some views after this. Uh, it was published three days ago. There you go. That's not a lot of views for three days of work. All right, fair enough. But anyway, I need someone this dedicated in my life for sure. This, this is, amazing. is so crazy. Let me skip to the end and see how it's much time passes. Let's see. Oh, he went through Ethan and Hilo too. Um, so we're not gonna have an episode on Friday because we're moving. Um, we'll have a whole scoop on that later, but. I'll tell you more about that. Should I, I'll talk about it later. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. we're moving. And um, so we're not going to be here on Friday. Do we have any guests next week or anything, Dan? Well, and we were supposed to have Trisha. I don't know if that's happening anymore. <laughs> I think she'll accept my apology. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. It was heartfelt. Uh-huh. <laughs> what was the first cough ever? Let's find out. Let's go to the very end. Shirtless. The tie. Wow, that's old as fuck. It was always there. That was it. Yeah. The bell pepper. Oh yeah, that was it. Wow. When I was, uh... That was the first time I did anything funny, I feel like, with the bell pepper. And we filmed that and we're like, that was pretty funny. <laughs> and there was like this bell pepper that looked like an anus that was like so putrid. And it was making me gag every time. Look at our room. Yeah, it was a disaster. The what gag is going was that on. I, had, uh, I kept wearing a, a torn shirt. Look at my video. desk. Can't even fit anything on there. You see how tiny it is? We had so little space. You know? <laughs> Damn, Ela's a real one. You could tell. Because she was with me even back then. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this guy went deep. Damn, the quality is so bad, too. All right, that's it, guys. <laughs> Have a great week, uh, weekend. Keep slamming, keep blamming. Keep slamming, keep blamming. <laughs> I have apologies to issue. I apologize to Trisha Paytas for calling her a... I don't believe I called her a beach dwell. I think I just said she rolled, She looks like she washed up in the ocean. Mm. I apologize for that. I apologize for saying she looks like an open casket corpse. 
I apologize to Ian for calling you an idiot. That's not what I meant at all. That was very rude, very abrasive. That's not who I am. That's not who I want to be, at least. It is who I am, but it's not who I want to be. So, Ian, I apologize. I respect you, and I I just, I, I mean, the show wouldn't be the same without Ian, the salaried employee. So, thank you to Ian. Thank you to Dan. Thank you to Zach. Thank you apologize to Apologize for Dan. What do I, what do I apologize for? You Dan? call him... You described him as um, grizzled. Gr- grizzled, right? Apologies to Dan for describing him as grizzled and old. That's fine. Oh yeah, I have people to apologize for that. Yeah, I didn't think so. That's real. <laughs> I thought people made some funny analogies to The Office. <laughs> if I'm Michael Scott, people are saying that Zach is Ryan because I was referring to him as young and green, and Dan is Toby, <laughs> and Ian is uh, who's Ian? Oh, he's Jim. Jim. Then you know who you are, Ela. You're Dwight. Oh, I no. love Dwight. <laughs> You're definitely Dwight. You have to be. I love that. I, it would be an honor. <laughs> yeah. I thought I was going to get it. If I'm Michael, you have to be Dwight. That's the perfect... Uh, I'm honored to be Dwight. So I was, we need to hire more people to complete the analogy. Hopefully... Like 20 more. <laughs> yeah. We're definitely missing a creed. And we're missing a... I mean, I think we it's got a big a cast, Oscar. dude. <laughs> it's a pretty big Oscar. cast. <laughs> yeah, but the ma- I think we got the majors covered. We just need a, a creed. So who's Toby? Dan? Dan's Toby. Hmm. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, thank you, guys. If you want to extend this analogy, please feel free to leave a comment. Uh, if you... I don't know. The Zephan! I don't know. I don't know, guys. I just... What can I say? Hey, guys, I'm so sorry to interrupt. We got to go to break. You want to say anything, Ella? Dan, Zach, Ian, anyone got anything to say? Have a great week, everybody. We'll great see you next time. Great week. Zach, uh, Ian? Great week. Great week, everybody. That's the na- that's the na- word of the week. Great week. Thank you, everybody, for listening. This has been another episode of the H3 <laughs> Podcast Worldwide. Ta-ta. Bye.